Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RWS Ratchadamnon World Series 2023. Coming to you live from the world's first Muay Thai stadium right here in the heart of Bangkok, Thailand. I am Aaron Surisompan, and joining me is former Muay Thai world champion Antoine Pinto. Yeah, and of course tonight we're taking a break from the tournament. We will be back for the grand finals next week, but tonight the Ratchadamnon title is on the line. So very exciting fight night. But of course, it is always an honor to be here in the legendary Ratchadamnon Stadium, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Established in 1945, Ratchadamnon Stadium has stood as the world's first Muay Thai stadium with 78 years of history. Ratchadamnon Stadium is truly the home and birthplace of the art of eight limbs, the best form of striking in the world. Yeah, and the place to be if you're here in Bangkok, Thailand, Ratchadamnon Stadium. It used to be very different because now we have entered a new era, not only for Muay Thai, but for Ratchadamnon. Yes, today, Muay Thai, like Antoine said, has entered a new, a new era with the establishment of RWS, Ratchadamnon World Series, the greatest Muay Thai tournament on the face of the planet. RWS Rajdamnon World Series has gathered some of the best Muay Thai fighters from all corners of the globe to identify the best strikers on the planet. RWS Rajdamnon World Series invites eight fighters from each weight class and places them into two groups of four. The top two finishers of each group will advance to the knockout round in order to earn a chance at three million baht. The RWS Rajadamnon World Series belt and to forever etch their names into greatness. Yeah, absolutely. And like I just said earlier, in just a week from now, we will have three new champions of RWS. But tonight, of course, like I just said, very exciting because tonight we will have the new middleweight Rajadamnon Stadium champion. Yeah, absolutely. It has, we haven't crowned a, a middleweight champion here at Rajadamnon for about four years now, pre-COVID. So it's gonna be a really exciting time and really exciting night to crown a new Rajadamnon Stadium champion. Yeah, absolutely. So let's have a look at the fight card and who will be fighting tonight. In the very first bout of the evening, Khao Suwoi, Paul Kop Glua from Thailand, will be taking on Petch Blyphon, Wah We Watananon Sik Mink from Thailand. In our second bout, Yod Kun Suk Sik Plong Si from Thailand will be taking on Alfie Ponting from England. In the first bout of the main card tonight, we have Pet Rahu Sawanik Buadin Ban Cha Me, who will be taking on Yod Abut Katawut Tung Se Thi Bila Sport. And in the second bout of the evening, the superstar is back, Mong Khon Chai Pet Get Pet. Tonight, he will be taking on Kuk Kak TFC Muay Thai Gym. And then in our co-main event, Reza Venom Muay Thai from Iran will be taking on the star boy, Joe Ryan Sit Song Pinong from England. And then it is main event tie, the Rajadamnon middleweight title on the line. Beckham, big win champion, Ban Chamek representing Thailand and Japan, will be taking on Emerson Bento, Revolution Phuket. Yeah, and of course, after that, we have two extra fights, very exciting fights as well. With Taya Yut Win Ubon will be taken on from Grace Angelos, Yak Yai Muay Thai. And of course, the last bout of the evening, a female fight between Dang Kong Fa, Kiet Pet Noi Jim, Ban Cha Mei. Tonight, she will be taking on Daisy, seven Muay Thai. Like I said, very exciting fight night, especially the main event, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. But not just that as well, of course, in the co-main, it's now confirmed that whoever wins that fight between Reza and Joe Ryan will be the number one contender for the Rajadam Nun middleweight title. So a lot happening here tonight at RWS. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very first fight of the evening from Thailand. Please welcome Kalsawai Pokop Kua. And her opponent, please welcome Pet Plyphon Wawiwa Tananon Sit Me. All right, and here comes the very fighter of the night. Great night up ahead, and a great way to start these fights. This is Kazuwe Pokokuya. Ah, 
And coming to the ring, her opponent also from Thailand, Pet Plyphon, Wo, We Watananon, Sydney. Two young up and coming female Nak Mo Ying stars of the Muay Thai scene competing in our very first bout of the evening here at RWS. Welcome, Pet Plyphon. And they can see the tail of our tape for the very first fight of the evening here on this week's RWS. In the red corner, we have Kao Soi Po Kob Kua. She is just 17 years of age and stands at 157 centimeters. She weighed in yesterday at 105.6 pounds and has a reach of 158 centimeters. She is from right here in Bangkok, Thailand. And she has a professional record of 16 victories with 10 losses and one draw. And in the blue corner, they can see Het Plyphon, Wo We Watananon, Sit Mink. That might be the last time I actually have to say that name, so that's a good thing to realize. Pet Plyphon is also, of course, from Thailand, and she is just 16 years of age, so the younger of the two. She stands at 163 centimeters and weighed in yesterday at 105.7 pounds and has a reach of 163 centimeters. She is also from Bangkok, Thailand and also has 16 victories to her name. However, she only has five losses and one draw. Now you might be able to hear our MC Beer in the background explaining what the ladies are doing in the ring right now, the Y crew. Done before every traditional Muay Thai bout, showing respect to the masters and their trainers. And of course, to the camp or gym they fight out of and represent. We have a lot of tourists here, of course, at Rajadam Nurn Stadium. Well, we've never seen Muay Thai before, let alone the white crew. So it's good for Beer to explain what's going on. Really, really exciting times here at Rajadam Nurn Stadium. Of course, next week, Antoine mentioned it as he was presenting that we have the finals of the tournament for this year, 2023. Three finals, and then the week after, the remaining two finals as well. So basically, we've got the, Raj the Rajalanda Stadium title this week, and then the next two weeks coming, it's all stadium, it's all, sorry, RWS tournament finals. So a lot going on, really exciting times. As we see, the crowd here at RWS. So of course, Beckham and Bento both fought and won here on RWS before. And they were given the nod to compete for that vacant title. Like I said, it's been vacant now for three years. was won in 2019, it wasn't defended. And yeah, it's about time someone got that opportunity. And of course, we discussed it as well. The co-main now will be for the number one contender spot for that title as well. So it's great to see the progression here of those belts. Of course, the RWS, not only yeah, the RWS titles, but the Rajdam Nern Stadium title as well, being won for and fought for here on RWS. The best of both worlds, you get the tournament fights and you get the stadium titles as well. Here, live on The Zone, we're glad you can join us in 200 plus countries and territories. We're gonna take you through all this evening's fights. All eight of them we've seen. Last week it was a, an incredible showing of, uh, we had Team Thailand versus Team International, many knockouts. Me and Antoine had a great time calling those fights. Oh, yeah. But there's nothing like seeing a Rajnana Stadium title being put on the line. And hopefully we'll see a champion later on in our main event. But let's kick things off. 
with the females. We'll actually start and end this week with the females of Muay Thai. Kao Sawai, Po Kopkua in the red corner. And Pet Life Bar. Back life on in the blue corner. I'm gonna hand you over now to the voice of Rajad Amnon Stadium and the voice of RDS, Mr. Beer. Sodika, greeting, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beer, the voice of Rajad Amnon, and welcome to RWS Russian of the World Series 2023. Live at the World First Muay Thai Stadium. Russian of the Stadium, the bad place of Muay Thai. We are live to over 200 countries around the world on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to start the first preliminary fights of the event. Are you ready? Muay Thai, this is Rajan of the Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Rapin Soblik. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 17 years of age. She stands 157 centimeters tall and burning 105.6 pounds. She, a record of 16 win, 10 losses and one draw, representing Bangkok, Thailand. Let's hear it for Khao Sui Bo Gom Gu! And her opponent fighting on the blue corner, 16 years of age. She stirs 163 centimeters tall and weighs in 105.7 pounds. She a record of 16 wins, 5 losses and 1 draw. Representing Bangkok, Thailand. Let's hear it for Pet Play Fun, where we want to know on Sit Me! All right, here we go. The first bout of the evening on this week's RWS. Thailand versus Thailand. Three two minute rounds for the girls. Three minutes for the men. Oh, two to the face there straight away by Pet Life One. Right. In the face. Seems to be a malfunction there. Oh, she's okay. Left kick there again by Pet Life One. Looks like Kao Soi wants to get in the clinch. Good knee delivered. Referee letting this one go. It's good to see. Of course, the art of eight limbs, Muay Thai, punches, kicks, knees, as well as those deadly elbows. Another right kick to the body that time from Pex Blyfon. Coming to fight off the back foot, but doing a good job of it. Beautiful left high kick there. Again, from the blue corner. Good start this from Pex Blyfon. Yeah, left kick to the body once again. Looking for that right hand. Ooh. She's fast. Kalsoy, very aggressive, but right now, walking into those kicks of Pet Lifon. Oh. Great job of controlling the distance right now. Yeah, every time she throws that head kick, it seems to connect as well. Great start here from Pet, Pet Lifon in the blue corner. And of course, let's not forget that women in our WS fight, two minutes rounds, which is a big difference. And makes it a sprint, beautiful front kick, perfectly timed from Pet Lifon. Smart Taya Peru would have been happy with that one. Push kick again there. Throw it, head back on. It seems like there's doubts on the face yeah. of Kalsoway. Great. Good call, Antoine. Straight away, you can see that Kalsoway. She's looking a little bit tired and intimidated by the fact that Pet Life on just doesn't stop. Shot after shot by the blue corner. Yeah, and the fact that she knows she's got to move forward, she's got to be aggressive to get in range, but when she does that, she is actually in the range of those vicious kicks. Absolutely. And like I said, Pat Lifon, very comfortable to fight off the back foot, it seems. Oh, good right hand there. Good shot to end the round from Kao Suoi, but it belonged to Pet Lifon. More action coming in from the blue corner. Beautiful kicks to the body and to the head. Kao Suoi wasn't sure how to handle Pet Lifon, but right at the end, she caught a win that right hand. 
course, it's open scoring here on RWS. So after the highlights, you get to see how the judges have scored it. Oh, what a teach to the face that was. And look, left high kicks to teach whatever she wanted. So fast. Beautiful dexterity on display here by Pet Fly Fon. Oh. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges. Star red by blue ten. Beautiful time, right punch at the end. Really going in with more shots to the head, more punches, and less knees is the way forward. And she's been so aggressive as she was. And she's there again, looking for that right hand. That's what I'm doing. Great job with the footwork. Oh, yeah, good right kick to the midsection. Oh, attempted right hand just clicks it or grazing the side of Kalsawai's face. He's pushing forward constantly. There's that right knee once again by Kalsawai. And right now, she is pushing forward, but we don't really know why or what she's actually... Oh, look into the... Walking into the head kick. A good foot movement as well there from Pet Flyfon. Not just moving directly backwards, she's moving around the ring. Oh. And a team to the head by Pet Flyfon. Halsaway pushing forward without a plan, it seems. Oh, Pet Life on jumping knee. Beautiful combination from Halsaway momentarily pushing Pet Life on in a corner. Yeah, I've seen some good hands from Halsaway. There's actually a little, a little mouse under the eye of Pet Life on from some of those punches that she has thrown. But again, it's those, those feet, those kicks of Pet Life on doing the damage here. She's the taller fighter, of course, so when they get in... Oh, good take down there from Kalsawoy. She's got to win this round, remember. Oh, that play from slowing down a little bit. It's solid knee to the midsection there from Kalsawoy. She doesn't want to get taken down here. She's not doing... Yeah, a much better round it from Kalsawoy. Yes. Much more even than the good low kick. Back. Yeah, good right kick as well there from Kalsawoy. Yeah, that life on not replying and not answering oh, anything so far. Good, good jab. Good jab though, as yeah. I say that. Kalsawoy just walking straight into that one. But at least giving the judges something to think about with 10 seconds left on the clock here. Oh, oh. that could have won the round for that close at the moment. Yeah, and there you have it, round number two in the books. Yeah, she does look a little bit gassed out. Uh, but again, also pushing forward non-stop, so not making it easy for her as well. Yeah, good round there from both fighters, being honest. Both delivering kicks to the body. Kalsawai, though, being more active than we saw in that opening round. Let's have a look at the highlights. There was that right high kick. Tell you what, Kalsawai can take a kick. She's strong. She's tough. She took a lot of punishment within those first two rounds, to be fair. Oh, and there it is. Oh, Ooh. beautiful. <laughs> There's that deep right oh. to the head. Perfectly timed. Stay with us for round three coming up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score red nine, blue ten. For the total score, all three judges score red 18, blue 20. Some shots from Castleroy that actually hurt her. Let's see yeah, what happens in this final round. into the final round with confidence, though. She knows, and we see it a lot of times here in RWS. She just needs to survive this round pretty much to win yes. the fight. And that's what she's doing right now. Happy to fight off the back Ooh. foot. Ooh. Just try and defend her position. And you can see that Kalsawai is desperately trying to throw some punches through that guard, but not really connected. They're being deflected by the defensive acumen of Peck Life on. Oh! oh. Another malfunction there. Yeah. Low kick. Oh, good oh, right hand. And, and again. again. It's the body kicks versus the punches here in this third and final round. Yeah, Pep Life on using that long range guard just to protect herself. Oh. 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 She really has struggled defending those, those teeps, those front kicks throughout this entire fight. One, here she two, comes one, again. Two. Oh. oh. Trying to box up Pet Fly Fon, but gets boxed up herself. Ooh. Good left hand. And again with that left and that right. Pet Fly Fon doing the same thing here and just grabbing a hold of her, running down that clock. 
final minute of the fight. But Pat Lifon is noticeably tired. Oh, oh. man, with those teeth. She's walking. Oh, oh and back. down she goes. No, not no, a knockdown. Not a knockdown somehow. Wow. Oh. I thought it was a knockdown. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Oh, that must be. Oh, come on. Perhaps <laughs> a massive mistake from the ref. There's still 30 seconds to go. Can she survive the round? She's looking exhausted here. She I'm is. Oh, oh, and down she goes. And still not a knockdown. How much more do you need? She's going got, after her right knee. She's got 15 seconds oh. on the clock. Can she do the impossible with 10 seconds remaining? Try and claim that draw. Five seconds left. She's out on her feet. Is pet life for? She's got nothing oh. left in that tank, but she has survived. She has survived. An onslaught at the end there by Kao Suwoi Antoine. Oh. I won't believe that she was not down. Yeah, she 100% was. Maybe the second one was a slip, or she was off balance, but that first one to me looked yeah, like she was put on her backside, if I'm being honest. Yeah, that was also a follow from the very first down, or at least what we thought was a down. You could see she was exhausted and her legs gave up momentarily. All right, well, let's, let's see if the truck have got this one and we can see a highlight of that knockdown. There's oh. those teams by Pet Blyfon. The second and of course, oh, there it was. Yeah, yeah, that definitely was a knockdown. We'll have to see that once again if we can. <laughs> yeah, that 100% was a knockdown. Great third round, though. Really yeah, exciting. Absolutely. Kao Suwoi, she did exactly what she needed to do and she really took it to Pet Blyfon. Unfortunately, first, she's not going to get her hands raised as we already know the scoring criteria here at RWF. But either way, a great way to kick things off. Like this one could have been, yeah, it could have been a down like a as well. Ah. All right, let's get the official confirmation from Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored this bout 29 to 28. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Back to RWS, and what a great way to start the night with a very, very close fight, Aaron. I have to say, I thought that in that third round that Kalsuai knocked her opponent down, but this is what it is. Congratulations to Pet Blyfon. What a beautiful teach she kept doing throughout that round, and her kicks were the difference maker, the big yeah. difference maker in that fight. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm sure we will see both of them back here again in Rashad Amman Stadium. All right, so for the second fight of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Thailand, Yot Khun Suk Sing Kong Si, and his opponent from the United Kingdom, please welcome Alfie Ponte. And here comes Yot Kun Suk, promising fighter looking to showcase his skills here in Russia the Nun Stadium. This is Yot Kun Suk, Sing Kong Si. And coming to the ring, his opponent from England, Alfie Ponting. Massive opportunity later tonight for another Englishman by the name of Joe Ryan in our co-main event, but in our final prelim this evening. Let's see what this young man is all about. Welcome to RWS and to Rajadam Nurn Stadium, Alfie Ponty. Oh, 
here we go. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape for your second and final prelim this evening. In the red corner from Thailand, we have Yod Kun Suk. Sing Klong Si. He is 19 years of age and stands at 173 centimeters. He has a height of yeah, 173 centimeters and he has a reach of 176 centimeters. He weighed in yesterday at 135.6 pounds and he's from Nakhon Sawan here in Thailand. He has a professional record of 53 victories with 17 losses. And there you can see Alfie Ponty. He is 18 years of age and stands at 180 centimeters. He weighed in yesterday at 135.5 pounds and has a reach of 175 centimeters. So even though he is taller by seven centimeters, Jorkun Sirk is one centimeter longer in reach. He's from Liverpool in England and has a professional record of 13 victories with four losses. So both Alfie and Joe from England here on this evening's RWS, both from Liverpool in England. As we can see, the fight is going through the Y crew. I'm sure many people from Liverpool are watching now on The Zone, watching your boy perform in the center of the ring here at Raja Dam Nern Stadium on RWS. What a massive opportunity, not just for Alfie, but of course for Jod Kunsurk as well. As the crowd watches on, this is our second and final prelim before we move into the main card. Of course, the main event is Beckham from Thailand taking on Emerson Bento from Brazil for the vacant Rajdamburn middleweight title. A title that's been vacant for uh, over three years now. Yeah, that's a very long time. And finally, RWS is bringing back the division with a lot of great fighters at 160 pounds. So this is going to be very exciting. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Second prelim. Got concert. Sik Glong Si from Thailand in the red corner and Alfie Ponting from Liverpool, England in the blue corner. So a lot of good fighters come from the UK. Is Alfie Ponting the next big up and coming fighter? Let's find out. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second preliminary fight of the evening. This is Boy Thai. This is Rush of the Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Sayan Rilrun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the Red Tunner, 19 years of age. He stands when it adds 73 centimeters tall and weighted when it adds 35 pounds. He holds record of 53 wins and 17 losses. Representing the Konsawan province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Yod Kun Sut Sing Klong Si. And his opponent fighting about the blue corner, 18 years of age. His turns with an Eddie's in Miss Hall and Burden with an add 35 pounds. He will record of 13 wins and 4 losses. Fighting our Liverpool, England. Let's hear it for Alfie Ponte. All right, here we go. It's Thailand versus England here. In the final prelim this evening's RWS. Three, three minute rounds. Oh, good low kick straight away there from Jod Kunsuk. <laughs> and again, targeting that standing lead leg of Alfie. Ooh, catch and a takedown. 
Alfie looking much bigger, stronger than his opponent. Ooh. Looking for that left hand through the guard there of Jorkunsuk. I like the aggression from the fighter in the blue corner, in a clinch. Yeah, looking for that Ooh. left high knee there as Jorkunsuk takes him down. Or just a trip, should I say. Ooh. Explosive here in this opening round already. Good block that time, much better by Alfie Ponting. Ooh, double hook. Yeah, beautiful time there by Alfie. Oh, left low kick, right hook attempted by Jan Kunsuk. Alfie trying to <laughs> deliver an elbow. <laughs> beautiful left hand there from Alfie. Going in with the elbows again, oh. left right kick. Yeah, and Alfie showing no respect to the Thai fighter here in Rashad Men Stadium, and I like that. Again, he ate a, did eat another leg kick though. He's got to be wary of that. Oh, and the left kick from Jörg Kunzuk. Right away. Pushing Going forward. back and forth in this round. Low kick from Alfie. Attempted elbow again and again. Yeah, Jörg Kunzuk with a cut on his forehead already from an elbow. Oh, again, another low kick there by Jörg Kunzuk. That time Alfie moves out the way. Nice left kick to the body there from Alfie. There you can see the cut that Antoine saw. Oh. The Superman punch and a left high kick there from Ponty. Very aggressive fighter, and this is exactly what we want to see here in Rashundan Stadium. But again, you've called it. He's got to be careful of his leg. He's taken a lot of damage from Jörg Kunsuk's low kick. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Jörg Kunsuk starting very well, but right now, potentially Ponting could be on top. A great oh! Oh, the left knee, then a right elbow there from Ponting. Oh, going to the head again with the knee beautifully done, and Jörg Kunsuk slowing down. Again, the knee to the face. You can see, stuck in the corner. Yeah, Alfie, fighter. both fighters taking the time here. Showing a, giving oh. too much respect. Good left kick there to the body by Alfie. Again, there's that low kick from Jörg Kunsuk. And a great way to start the round and the fight for the fighter from the UK pushing forward. High fighter stuck in the ropes again. Good movement here from Alfie, good oh. left hand! Oh, let's talk about the left kicks from Jokun Sirk, but it's the left kicks from Alfie this time, as he moves in with more elbow strikes. Five seconds left on the clock, attempted left hand there from Jokun Sirk, but his oh, leg's gone! Down, his down. leg's gone! He's gonna survive the round, because I think the bell's gone. I don't think the referee heard it. Saved by the bell, potentially, ah, yes he, he is. Wow. Yeah. wow! Problem, so Jörg Kunzuk with that left leg. Great round there from Ponting. Yeah, what a great way to end the round from Alfie. Yeah, I mean, Jörg Kunzuk obviously had a game plan, chopping down the taller athlete with those low kicks, and it was working momentarily, but then all of a sudden, Ponting just started to go through the motions and go through the gears, looking more comfortable. Oh, double elbow to the head. Look at that. Tempted, fainted a Superman punch. Oh. Then went for a left high kick. Damn, that was the low kick there. And look at this knee. Oh. Beautiful technique from the man from Liverpool. And there was that leg kick that dropped Jörg Kunsuk and has put I'll be in the driving seat. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges score rate eight blue ten. All right, let's see if Jörg Kunsuk can do anything. But if you're Alfie Ponting, if you're in his corner, all you do is tell him to go for that leg. Oh, here come the hands of Jörg Kunsuk. He walks into a right hook. Back to the legs, go Alfie. Alfie now moving forward, but not concerned. He can't really afford to take a step back. And it's an interesting fight. Good low kick there from Jörg Kunzuk. Alfie not blocking it. He's looking strong. It doesn't look like that low kick is bothering him too much. But the low kick of Jörg Kunzuk is bothering him. Yeah, how much more can he take? Oh, his pace. Beautiful movement there. Another left high kick from Alfie. I don't know how much longer. Oh, and down he goes. Beautiful elbow from Alfie. Is he going to stand up? And no, nope. it's all over. Alfie Ponting, take a bow. Beautiful elbow in that 
second round, knocking down the Thai fighter here at the world's first Muay Thai stadium. In his debut on RWS, statement made. Congratulations. Potential future star in the making. Remember the name, Alfie Ponting. Absolutely, only 18 Think of the fighters from England throughout the years, <laughs> going back to Ronnie Green. Of course, you've got Howson, you've got Harrison. Of course, we've got Joe Ryan now. Are we looking at another potential English Muay Thai superstar? What a great fight to end the prelims. Let's have a look at those highlights. Look, oh. beautiful left elbow straight through the guard from Alfie Ponte. Perfect time. Here it is. Bang. Oh. Perfect technique. Sure, his coaches and everyone back in Liverpool are super proud of what they've just witnessed. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen of the 45 second of the second round, we have a winner by way of no good blue corner of the Ladies and gentlemen, Thai traditional music is an essential part of Muay Thai. It captured the heart and soul of the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Thai musical band, Russian of the Pekong Orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ratchet and Dan, Peacock Orchestra! Back to our WS Ratchet and Dan World Series 2000 and 23 and what a great way to start the night Aaron. Yeah absolutely two great prelim fights and of course in that last bout Alfie making a statement beautiful knockdown in the first round and then a beautiful knockout elbow in the second sets up the night perfectly. Yeah absolutely and like I've said earlier uh, tonight we will not have the tournament because the tournament is going to be next week as we have three grand finals. Of course, tonight we have a Ratchet and Dan title, but first, let's have a look at the bracket of next week. So there you can see in the lightweight division, it will be Lamna Moonlek in the final, taking on Saming Dead. And then in the bantamweight division, the females, we have Nao Prajan taking on last year's champion, Som Ratsami. And then in the super lightweight bracket, Nung Lang Lek will be taking on Kapitan. Three finals. Yeah, absolutely. Another event not to miss. Fighters that have been competing for over six months for this day. So don't miss out next week. All right. Well, tonight, again, the Ratchet title is on the line, Aaron. Yeah, I can't wait. Of course, we saw 
Emerson Bentel compete here at RWS and he was able to overcome Joe Ryan, so that meant that tonight he can now buy and become the very first Brazilian Rajadam Nern Stadium Champion. History could be made right here tonight. All right, so let's have a last look at the fight card. All right, so the very first fight of the evening would be Petrahu Sawanik Buadin Banchamek. Tonight, he will be taking on Yog Awud Katawud Tungseti Vilasport. In the second fight of the evening, the superstar is back. Mongkonchai Pet Pet. Tonight, he will be taking on uh, Kukak TFC Muay Thai Jin, my apologies. And then in our co-main event, a number one contender fight for that middleweight title, Reza, fighting out of Venom Muay Thai from Iran, will be taking on the superstar, Joe Ryan Sitsompinong from England. And then in our main event, Beckham big win champion, Ban Chamek, representing Thailand and Japan, will be taking on Emerson Bento, Revolution Phuket, from Brazil. Yeah, and of course, after that, we do have two extra fights. With Taya Yut, Win Ubon tonight, he will be taking on Angelos Yakyai Muay Thai. And of course, the last bout of the evening, a female fight between Dao Hong Fa, Kiet Pet Noi, Jim Ban Chamek. Tonight, she will be taking on Daisy Seven Muay Thai. And of course, there's another fight I want to mention because you've said it earlier, the fight before the main event is going to be another great fight, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. They announced that that fight, the winner of that fight, will take a very big look at the main event. They will be the number one contender for the Raj Damnon Middleweight Championship. And that title can be crowned in our main event here tonight. Lots going on here at RWS. All right, so let's start tonight with the, the main fight in the main card. Please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome our fighters from Thailand. Pet Rahu Sawanik Buadin Banchamek and his opponent from Thailand as well. Please welcome Yon Awut Kathawut Tungseti Vila Sport. <laughs> All right, the main event has started. And I can guarantee you that this fight is not gonna go until the end. Both fighters, very strong, very powerful. And this is Petrahu Sawanik Buadin Banchame. Coming to the ring, his opponent, Yon Awut, Pung Villa Sport. We saw him previously here on RWS, where he was only here for one round. He was unfortunately knocked out by Saw Grau Pet Indy, but he's got another big opportunity here tonight, taking on another of Boa Grau's prodigies from the Banjamek gym. Welcome, Yon Awut, to RWS. First fight on our main card this evening is Thailand taking on Thailand. In the red corner from Thailand, Pet Rahu Sawanik Buadin Ban Cha Mek. He is 24 years of age and stands at 170 centimeters and weighed in yesterday at 146.4 pounds. He has a reach of 167 centimeters and was born in the south of Thailand in Surat Thani. He has a professional record of 62 victories with 15 losses. In the blue corner, we have Yodawut, Tungset T, Katawut, Villa Sport. Oh, and also let's remind our viewers of the weekly bonuses, performance of the night. Someone tonight will be walking away with 100,000 baht. And if there is a knockout, that is deemed worthy of the knockout bonus. Someone could be walking away with 100,000 baht for that knockout bonus. If there is a knockout that's not deemed worthy of that money, or indeed there's no knockout, it will roll over to next week, meaning next week they could, someone could be potentially 
competing for 200,000 baht for a knockout bonus. And that will be, of course, next week during the finals of those three matchups that we mentioned earlier today. So, Yoda Wood, he's 33 years of age now, stands at 170 centimeters, the same as his opponent. He weighed in yesterday at 143.1 pounds and has a reach of 169 centimeters. He was born in Kampang Pet here in Thailand and has a professional record of 52 victories with 19 losses and two draws. So yeah, we showed you the brackets from those tournament fights, those tournament finals that will be taking place here next week at RWS. We've got Lam Nam Moonlek taking on Saming Det. Of course, Lam Nam Moonlek was last year's champion here at RWS, the 2022 champion in the same weight category, 135 pounds. I think he will be the favorite going into that fight. They actually fought already, didn't they? Mm. Saming Det and Lam Nam Moonlek earlier in the tournament and Lam Nam Moonlek fought very well, even though I believe Samming get took around, but it's a good fight. And then, of course, we've got Nao Prajan. She'll be taking on last year's champion in Som Ratsumi. However, Som Ratsumi was the champion of 112 pounds. She's moved up a weight. She's also made the final this year. Nao Prajan, in the semi-final, was uh, able to overcome Dogen, who a lot of people were suspecting could actually win the competition. So that was a, a big win there for Nao Prajan. Yeah. Nao Prajan, she's been the underdog yeah. every single fight <laughs> this whole tournament, and yet she's made it to the final. And of course, in the super lightweights, a fight that a lot of people can't wait to see. It would be Nung Lang Lek taking on Kat Pitan. And if any of those fighters win by knockout, it might be 3.2 million. All right, take it away, Mr. Via, our first fight in our main card. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now entering the main card. Today we have six bout on the main card, featuring the main event of the evening, the Bucken Resident Man Middleweight title match. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start the first main card of the evening. We are live from the bad place of Muay Thai to over 200 countries around the world. This is Muay Thai. And this is Ratchet and Ladies and gentlemen, this part is brought to you by Toro K Corporation, Sponsor and Pumpkin. And introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Glitz Sanat Bunyan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the Red Connor. 24 years of age, his first when it and 70 centimeters tall and winning when it and 46.4 pounds. He or record of 62 wins and 15 losses. He is Sea Games silver medalist in kickboxing and gold medalist kickboxing Thailand champion representing Suratani province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Petra Husawanik. AKA Bodin Banchame! And his opponent fighting over the blue corner, 33 years of age, his first 170 centimeters tall and wherein 143.1 pounds. He for a record of 52 wins, 19 losses, and two draw. He is a former Max Muay Thai champion and former WPMTA champion representing Kampang Pet Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Yod Awut Katawut Tung Sati Willis Bond. First bout of this evening's RWS Thailand.
taking on Tyler. Forward in Banchamek. Fighting out of Team Banchamek. Of course, Boakal, the head of that camp. And we've got Dodda Wood looking to regain some pride after his knockout loss against Sorgrau Pet Yindi about a month, a month ago. Who mm. did a spot here at Ardegras before? It was two months ago. He went to war with a, an Iranian counterpart. He was able to come through and win that fight. Yeah, I think this matchup is going to be much better for both fighters, especially Yacht Catherwood. Last fight was probably... His opponent was a little bit too tough for him, but this time, him being a little bit bigger, yeah, he does. So Yoda Wood looks thick. Oh, well, good left jab there from Buadin. Left kick to the body. Again, looking for that left hook. Yoda Wood able to grab a hold of him. I remember it was in that clinch where Sawgrau knocked out Yoda Wood. The referee was stepping, stepping in to move him apart, but Sawgrau Managed to find a left elbow out of nowhere and knocked out mm. Yoda Wood unsuspected. Oh! Good low kick there. Oh, oh, oh. What a kick. Didn't that low kick that. off balanced him. He went for the high kick. He actually moved him out of the way. Yeah, and here comes Buadi moving forward. Oh, good low kick of his own there from Yoda Wood. And again, Buadi looking to go down low. Well, they started off a little bit slow and now it's good to see them. Turning up the heat a little bit more. Good right elbow from Yoda Wood. Deep there to the body by Yoda Wood. A good left high kick from Buadin. And again, Yoda Wood goes down low. Oh, oh swinging. Ho, ho. Left up there from Buadin. Oh, oh swinging right hand over the top that connects. Yoda Wood eating those up though. The fight is on. Oh. Very evenly matched at the moment. That would very passive though, as he's taking a few shots. Yeah, Buad in there went low. Yana would attempted an elbow strike. Again, back to the center of the ring and go. Two very similar styles. And sometimes it can happen in Muay Thai fighters trying to take their time to figure each other out. But one of them will regret this at the end of this round because we do score and have open scoring every round. Oh! oh. That might have been a clash of heads. Good left kick to the body though by Buadin. Both are head hunting with that right hand. Moving in exactly the same time. I, I, me and Antoine were saying very similar in styles. But you have to think that Buadin potentially got the better of that round, more significant strikes in my humble opinion. Good fight though overall, great way to kick things off here in the main card of this very special RWS, where in the main event we will see Wong Kao, sorry, but sorry, we'll see Beckham also from Bodim's gym, Banchamek take on Emerson Bento from Brazil. There's that low kick, swinging oh, 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 left oh. kick just over the top of Yorawin. That low kick off balance him, potentially saved his life as well. Good block there from Yorawin. Stay with us, round two coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. All right, here we go, round two. <laughs> All right. Oof, by the way, pushing forward, boarding. Ooh, and the low kick. Yeah, this is what we want to see. We want to see him being more and more aggressive as he is trying to build his career here in RWS. Ooh, and the oh, left kick. Doubling up. Doubling up. Oh, good left hook there from Yoda Wood. But Pet Ra Oh, another right hand there from Yoda Wood. Finding a home for that right hook again. And Yoda Wood is one of those fighters. If 
fight's a little bit slow, very passive, but when he finds his shots, oh, he is again. very dangerous. This is a good second Ooh. round here from Yonah Wood. So far, anyway. Oh, good body strike there from Petra, who otherwise known as Boadin. Yeah, and he needs to be careful not to walk into that right hand. Wow, what a beautiful take down there. Nicely done there from Boadin. But see, you can see what's happening right now that Boadin is is waiting for Yoda Wood to do something so he can counter strike because remember he is up on the scorecards but Yoda Wood has been a little bit slow right now mm. he's got to be more aggressive than this he wants to take this second round oh, looking for that elbow much better you can hear his corner urging him on oh the swinging Ooh. left just glancing <laughs> past the nose there yeah I like the confidence on Woody in the I read oh, oh ready back elbow Trademark of RWS, of course. <laughs> Everyone has to spin. Yeah, again, just looking for openings and opportunities and not really trying to create it himself. Oh, oh the counter, though. Better right hand there by Yoda Wood. Oh, good right hand there, even though he had his leg tied up. Right hook here from Yoda Wood. Crowd getting behind him. Yeah, much better round for Yoda Wood. The right kick to the body there from Yon Awood, and again he moves in with that right hand. Oh, oh! Again with that, elbow. that looked like he connected flush. Yeah, he did, and with 40 seconds remaining on the clock, yeah. he has a chance of, ga of getting the win in this round. Yeah, absolutely, and a good knee to the body there from Yon Awood. He also connected with another step in elbow. Look, left kick to the body. But yeah, you can see now. But Boudin is starting to move forward. He must feel that he's losing the round. A bit more urgency from the man from Banchebeck Gym. Right knee. It's Yoda what looks up at the clock. Maybe the look that he's confident that he's won the round now and he's equaled it. Yeah, Could we a... be going to a judgment round? It's Could close. Be. Very close round though, but we it have was. the red corner pushing oh, forward. Oh, good end of the round though by Boudin. Could have snatched it, you never know. That was a mm. great round of Muay Thai action here at RWS. All the facets, all the eight limbs on display, including spinning back elbows as well, but it's a vicious elbow that was the shot of the round by Yoda Wood. Let's have a look at the highlights of that round. Oh, oh, oh. Both fighters looking for left hooks. Sneaky elbow there from Yoda Wood. There was the spinning back elbow. Not sure how much of it connected with that one. You see the spray. Oh, there it was. Beautiful right elbow. Boudin walks straight into it. Let's have a look at that again from another angle. Bang. Oh, perfectly timed. Boudin did well to stay on his feet. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, the first jar score red 9, blue 10. The second jar score red 10, blue 9. And the last jar score red 9, blue 10. And for the total score, the first jar score 19 to 19, even. The second jar score 20 to 18. And the last jar score 19 to 19, even. So, who did it? Just needs to score on one of the judges' scorecards, either one or three, to win this fight because. It's already sold up in terms of judge number two for him. And for Yoda Wood, well, simplistically put, if he wins this round, he wins the fight. All right, here we go. Two there from Yoda Wood. He's going to be looking for more elbow strikes. But to land elbow strikes, that means your opponent's got to come close. And that's where the danger could lie. And what then he needs to be careful when he pushes forward. Not to get too close and yes, stay at range. Use those kicks exactly like this. Yeah, good kicks to the body there. Oh, and again, oh. Boudin. Right low kick, left high kick. Very nicely timed by Boudin. Boudin pushing forward. Good block there from Yara Wood. Oh. Again with that right hand. That was a great shot and again from Boudin. Turn, he got the style here. Yeah, and he's hurt, three. he's hurt. He's chasing around Yara Wood. Problems here for Yon Awood. Not just going for the win, but going for that bonus yeah, potentially. Antoine. And why not? 100,000 baht, of course. As I mentioned earlier, another right hand attempted. Good duck there from Yon Awood. 
forward and again, push it forward, and Yonawa is just defending his position. Mm. Oh, good kick. Oh, oh that's left up. Yonawa again ducks under. As Buadid looks to throw an elbow. Yeah, Yonawa looking. This is, it's all Buadid in this round so far. Out, elbow strike there from Yonawa. It looks like he's just trying to survive now, which is sad to see after his great second round, but you have to give credit to Buadin. Yeah, he came out right. and he's done exactly what he needs to do in this third round to sort this fight. Yeah, Buadin pushing forward, looking for that left up. Yeah, he said it. Yellowwood is practically doing nothing but surviving this round. If you just walked into the stadium or just turned on the zone, you might think that Yonawa was two rounds up right now, the way he's fighting. He's backing off, he's defending his position. It's not the case. He needs to win this round to win the fight. He's got one minute to do so. If not, this is Boudin. Oh, another left hand there from Boudin. And Yonawa is not throwing anything back at the moment. Mm. Good knee to the midsection there from Boudin. Inside kick. Of course, we're going to see two more fighters from Banchamek Gym here tonight. We've got Beckham in our main event, and we've also got Dan Kong Fa in the last fight of the evening. But at the moment, it looks like that Banchamek Gym is going to go uh, one uh, round. <laughs> God, not doing anything. Yeah, absolutely. He completely gave up in the third round. Perhaps his fitness is not on point tonight. Feeling the effects, perhaps, from those punches that Boudin threw and connected with earlier on the round, I can only suspect. Final 10 seconds. Been a little bit of a disappointing third round, it has to be said, by yeah. Yoda Wood. But props again, like I said. Boudin, Banchevet doing exactly what he needs to do in that third and final round. Looks like he's going to make it 2-0 and all in his RWS career. Another war for Boudin. We'll have to get him back here on RWS. Always in an entertaining fight. Yeah, he had a dangerous second round with those few exchanges, but overall, great fight. Now let's have a look at the highlights from the fight. There was that left hook that both fighters were looking to throw. Oh. Beautiful, Woo. absolutely stunning low kick from Boudin. And in that third round, those hands were just too much mm. for Yoda Wood to cope with. There was that elbow that won him the fight in round number two. Oh, sorry, winning the round. But overall, big win for Buadin Ban Chapmek. Sure, Buakau is watching on, happy with his students' performance. Stay with us, bout number two, the return of a stadium star. Coming up next here on RWS. Gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored this bout 29 to 28. The second judge scored 30 to 27. And the last judge scored 29 to 28. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Ray Potter! Somebody can put in Montana! WS and a great performance from Boadin, Aaron. Yeah, amazing performance by Boadin. But I'm really, really excited about this next fight because it's the return of a stadium star in Mong Kho Chai. Now, he has fought Pet Dam in the past. He has fought Pet Morakot, and he even has a win over Tawan Chai. Yeah, absolutely. You've said it. He used to be a big superstar, and tonight is going to be a very tough challenge for him. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Thailand. Mong Khon Chai, Pet Giet Pet, and his opponent from Thailand as well. Please welcome Kuk Kak TFC Muay Thai J. Mong Khon Chai, a former stadium superstar. He's been away for quite some time but he is back this is mon conchai pet get pet 
trips and landed far took hits I can't ignore my chest. And coming to the ring, ready to spoil the return, the return party. Kukak TFC Muay Thai Jim is looking in tremendous shape, willing and ready to make a name for himself here at Rajnam Nur Stadium on RWS. See the tail of the tape of these two fighters in the red corner we have Mong Kong Chai Pet Kia Pet 31 years of age stands at 175 centimeters he weighed in yesterday at 134.9 pounds and has a reach of 184 centimeters he is from Royet province here in Thailand and has a professional record of 120 victories, 30 losses and two draws. He is a five division Channel 7 champion and a former Lumpini Stadium champion. And like I said, he's fought Lam Nam Nunlek, he's fought Pet Dam, he's fought Pet Morricot and he has a win over Pawan Chai. In the blue corner, also from Thailand, Kukak. TFC Muay Thai Gym. And there's a reminder of the MVP prize for the finalists. One of the winners will receive that beautiful motorcycle from Ducati. Kukak is from Thailand, 26 years of age, so five years younger than his opponent. Stands at the same height, 175 centimeters. He weighed in yesterday at 134.2 pounds and has a reach of 179 centimeters, so five centimeters shorter than Mong Kong Chai. He is from Buriram in Thailand and has a professional record of 64 victories with 20 losses and one draw, making his RWS debut won by KO in his last two fights since his return to Muay Thai. Yep, make, he's also making his return. He is known for his KO power. So this should prove to be quite the fight. As we see the crowd here at Rajnamun Stadium looking on. And we get, like we say every week, man, Antoine, if you are in Bangkok, Thailand, you have to come and check out Rajat and Murm Stadium. This fights every single week. RWS is on Saturday. Of course, we are biased, so we're going to say, wait if you can <laughs> and come on Saturday. Well, if you want to see the big stadium stars, they're here all week. But of course, RWS on Saturday is worth the admission fee alone. And if you cannot join us, then we thank you for joining us around the world live on the zone. And you can see Mon Kong Chai. Hope to re regain his form from the past as he performs his wide crew here at Rajnam Nur Stadium. He was a Lumpini Stadium champion. And of course, Channel 7 Stadium champion as well, which is a, another stadium here. We have fights on, this is an interesting wide crew. <laughs> we have fights on every Sunday. It's one of the highest rated TV shows in Thailand is Channel 7, so to be a champion at that stadium is no easy feat. The only thing that's missing from his accomplishments is a Rajdam Nerd Stadium title. So perhaps, mm. potentially, if he can refine that form of his in the past, maybe he has one eye on the 135 pound stadium title. Who knows? Yeah, beautiful white crew from Monkonshai as he hasn't lost it. <laughs> yeah. So for the people wondering what he was doing back in the days, fighters used to fight on sand. So that was a way to walk around and check the ground. Where is it even? Where is it safe to fight or not? All right. Here we go. Second bout of the main card. Thailand versus Thailand, Mokho Chai versus Kirk Pak. Take it away, Mr. Beer. No, no, no. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second main card of RWS Russian of the Bow Series. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian of the This bout is brought to you by Lotus Mattress and Train Rubricants. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Boromir Dukdi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting now the red corner, 31 years of age. His stance, 175 centimeters tall, and weighed in 134.9 pounds. He, a record of 120 wins, 30 losses, and two draw. He is former Lumini Stadium champion and Five Division Channel 7 champion, representing Roy Ed Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Mong Kon Chai, Pat Giat Pat! And his opponent fighting about the blue corner, 26 years of age. His burns, 175 centimeters tall and weighed in 134.2 pounds. He a record of 64 wins, 20 losses and one draw. Representing Buri Ram Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Kukong TMC Muay Thai Jam! Hong Kong Chai in the red corner. Kukong in the blue. Thailand versus Thailand. Right, here we go. It's been a while since we haven't seen Mokon Chai, so this is going to be interesting to see him back in action. Absolutely, very tall fighter. You spoke about it many a time, Antoine. You've got the experience as well, as know what it's like going from being a five-round stadium fighter and being introduced to three-round formats. It's not always easy for some fighters to do and change that style up. Absolutely, and this is, this is why this is going to be interesting because on paper, Monkonchai, he's got so much more experience. He's faced some of the best fighters in the world right now. But again, you're going to have to adapt to fight three rounds, and this format is not for everyone. Absolutely. And we've seen that with past fighters, you know, five round stadium stars. When they get to these, what they call in Thailand entertainment shows at three rounds, they really struggle with starting fast. It's a big problem. Got to adapt and got to overcome. Oh, the referee you can see. Maybe that's because Moko Tai is just on the back foot, you know, he's taking it easy. You've got to accelerate quick here at RWS. Looking in tremendous shape, he like is. Said. Ooh, oh, and the hook. Good right hook there from Moko Tai. I'd be interested to know how long he's actually been training. His last fight was in 2020, I believe. He's been out of the ring for three years. <laughs> He's taking on someone known, like you said, for his knockout power. Looking at baptism of fight here at RWS, it's not an easy thing to fight someone in a three-round format who's known for their power. But right now, both fighters pretty nice. Not very aggressive yet. They're trying to figure each other out. Yeah, good defense you can see from oh, 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 oh. Beautiful technique and there the with knee. that step in me. Yeah, this is exactly what why he was known for. The clinch here is the work he oh, likes. Good left knee. Look at not enjoying those knees at all. No coach I back to the center of the ring now. Not looking to move backwards this time as we have 30 seconds left. And again, those knees pushing away Kukak. Yeah, he hasn't really scored at all in this round. Yeah, I don't think Kukak wants to be in a clinch position. He needs to stay on the outside and he needs to outwork Monkonchai, who's much more experienced and he's going to look at oh, his defensive game. He kicks the ropes. Monkonchai happy to walk off the back foot. Fade. Oh! oh! Oh, oh, he's on wobbly legs. He's got 10 seconds to try and finish him. But Kukak looks like he's going to hold on until the end of the round. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right at the end. 
Well, he was threatening kicks to the midsection, but all of a sudden he switched levels, went up high, and was able to clip the top of Kurt Kak's head. And all of a sudden his legs almost started to go from under him. But he was able to survive. Let's have a look at the highlights from the round. There you can see a right kick. There's that beautiful step in knee. And there was that right high kick. Let's have a look in slow motion. Beautiful knee strike there from Monko Chai. Monko Chai's legs seems so long. Look at this head kick. There we go. Never ending legs. Kirk Hack able to survive. Stay with us for round two. Past lives, they hover over like crows. Just like I hover over my coat. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first oh, round, hey, oh, all three judges. Scar red 10, blue 9. Oh, it's like a different ball game. Yeah, I don't even got so far, I see people ride, so I see people great, I would say, for Monko Chai. Kirk Kai, he has to now explode. He can't just sit back like he did in that opening round and show too much respect, which I think he was doing against Monko Chai. He's got to attack now. He's got to put Murray himself on the line. And now, trying to attack the clinch game, which I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. Monkonchai, specialist in that game. Lead there. Yeah, never reasons. <laughs> As Kurt Kak now is moving forward. He's got to throw, though. He's got to... He's struggling with the timing of Monko Chai. Yeah, absolutely, and that's good you mentioned that because timing, footwork, positioning is very important. And you can tell Kukak is having struggle finding his own rhythm. Kukak, he doesn't want to be in that clinch. It's a waste of time for him to be in there. He's got a block, he's got a throw. Good low kick, much better there from Kukak. <laughs> that was some power in that kick. Oh, and right away, Monko Chai, one, two, and a knee. Again, in a clinch, good defense. Kirkak is looking for big strikes every single time. There's no combinations coming in. And Monko Chai is able, able to read those attempts at big strikes. Oh, nice left high kick there. And perhaps that, that could actually work, but he oh. needs to throw more. Looking for a right hand with wide of the mark there. As Monko Chai again holds on. You know Kirkak possesses the power to knock out Monkonchai, but can he find the target? This is nothing that Monkonchai has never seen. Absolutely. Kirkak chasing right now. Oh, oh! Beautiful right elbow through the guard there from Monkonchai. Oh, and look at the escape. Great defense of Monkonchai. Just controlling the fight. Kirkak, very, very limited success again in this second round. Chasing shadows a lot of the times. It left me there again by Monko Chai. He knows exactly when to move in, when to move out. Mm. He defends his position right now. Yeah, he, he is trying to somehow find a solution. And you can see momentarily Monko Chai talking to Kirkak. <laughs> you will see this happen a lot with experienced fighters potentially telling him, you can give up, I'm too much for you. And this oh, happens a lot. Good right hook there from Monko Chai. Kirkak not giving up yet. Back into the clinch they go. Getting desperate now for Kirkak. Swinging right hook to the body, oh. then a right knee again from Monko Chai. Left knee, this is all too predictable. Corner of Kirkak, need a big word with him. At yeah, the end absolutely. of the second round, we need to try and find a way to win. Oh, good right hand there, just as I said that from Kirkak. End of the round. Too little, too late. <sighs> I have to say that. Yeah. Kirkak, he runs back to his corner. It's going to be a big round coming up, though, for both these fighters. We do believe that Monko Chai will be two rounds to the good. I can't see how Kirkak won that round at all. Let's have a look at the highlights from the round. See, Monko Chai happy to be on the back foot and just counter strike. Kirkak, damn, beautiful elbow through the guard there from Monko Chai. Kirkak didn't see that one coming at all. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I have to say, 135 pounds, there's going to be so many opponents who are the winner of this fight, so this is going to be interesting. Past lives, they hover over like crows. 
just like Ladies and gentlemen, oh in the God. second round, the first jar score, All red and blue nachos. Second and the third jar score, red and blue chips. I my road. For the total score, the first jar score, red 20, blue 18. The second and the third jar score, 19 to 19, even. However, sometimes it happens to be the the fighter who pushes forward. So guess, let's see. I guess so. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to compensate what we said before. Well, here we go. Come on, Coach I. Good knees here within the clinch. Oh, good cut, taking him out. Oh, 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 and off the ring he goes. Well, here we go. Perhaps that's going to wake him up. Yeah. And then he, in the clinch. Left knee there from Mon Coach I. Oh, trying to take him over once again. Work for the referee on the ring now. Oof, means. Good left knee from Monko Chai. Ooh, but again. he was doing this in the second round, but the judges didn't really score in, in his favour, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see. Good cut pushing forward. Worked for him in the second round in the eyes of the judges. So, so doing it. Monko Chai, great defence in the clinch now. Needs to stay active. Needs to be careful fighting on the back foot like yeah, this. At the moment, it looks like it's a repeat of the second round, and yeah, we know absolutely. the judges saw it, saw it there. Oh, oh. Yeah, he is. Kirkpatrick pushing him back. Yeah, he is, but Monkonchan in the dominant position in the clinch. Yeah, you can see. Ooh. Oh, good work from both fighters. Ooh. Good these, cut. Yeah, these are the legs there from Kirkpatrick. Yeah, and the ref somehow letting them work a lot. I actually think he's trying to separate them, but they're not willing to let go. 90 seconds left on the clock before our co-main event of the evening, which will be up next, and it will be mm. the number one contender fight for the middleweight crowd yeah, interesting. here at Stadium. Mon looks like he's a little bit tired now, somehow not really able to defend. And the fact that the ref is letting them work in the clinch this much is actually... Oh, and again, trying to take him out of the ring. Yeah, this is in favor of Kukak right now. Wokonshai kind of looks like he's giving up somehow. Is Kukak going to keep pushing forward? No, nope, he's not. You think oh. he's got enough? Both With about one minute left. Enough. Both fighters think they've done enough. So it looks like they're going to back away. Wow. And let the judges score it. Yeah, and Monkonchai should actually push forward now because he does look like he's behind on the scorecard. Uh, well, well, Kukak feels like he's done enough. This is the second time the ref calls them back in the center of the ring. 20 seconds left on the clock here. Uh, and both fighters doing a Bluetooth fight right now. <laughs> Who's ringing around Rajadam Nur Stadium? They don't like this, but it happens in the stadiums, folks. If yeah. both fighters... Oh! Yeah, this this is not the first time. One point away from each fighter, but it doesn't make a difference. Does yeah, it, it does scores? not at all. Well, what's one thing that's for sure, they're going to get the first deducted out of this. That's good to know. Hopefully they won't do it again and they'll learn from that. Been yeah. before, but been Kirkak in the third round, he was buoyed by the fact that he won the second, I believe. Through some good knees, was pushing forward again and was able to even throw. Moko Chai out of the ring. Let's have a look at the highlights from that third round. There you can see him taking him outside. Good knee there from Kirkak, who again was being the aggressor of the two. That was a good right knee, though, from Moko Chai. There was that right high kick in round number one. That was so close to the end of the round. If it wasn't, you never know what might have happened. Just Stepping like knee there. Of course, we've got to tally up these scorecards as well as taking the points away as well. 
Don't look at the clock, I don't even got time. I see people ride to see Really people, re relatively dangerous, that one. <laughs> I see the evil, maybe that's why. I see needles next to that one. Good job, we've got the judges there at ringside to hold him up. Alright. We're gonna get the official decision by Mr. Beer in the ring. Nights and days, hoping I fight. Knives and blades over my sight. Guide the way over my spite. I was made as a gentleman. After three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored is about 28 to 27. The second judge scored 27 to 28. And the last judge scored 28 to 27. We have a winner by way of split decision. to our WS and Mon Konchai with the win. But I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with the dancing towards the last round, but it does happen sometimes in Muay Thai when the fights are very, very close. Sometimes fighters don't want to go in in case of getting hit and perhaps losing the fight. Yeah, it can happen, like you said, Anton, but I'm really, really now looking forward to this next fight. RWS has made a statement saying that the 160 pound middleweights are where they should be fighting. It should be right here at RWS it, under the bright lights of Rajnam Nurn Stadium. So now middleweights are a big thing here. So that being said, in our cold main event, we are going to see who the number one contender for the middleweight crown will be. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Iran, Reza. Venom Muay Thai and his opponent from the United Kingdom. Please welcome Joe Ryan Sitsong Pino. If you've been following RWS, you do know this man. Reza has been here many, many times. He was fighting at 154 pounds and ended up not able to make weight on the longer run so now he is here at 160 pounds this is Reza Venom Muay Thai and coming to the ring his opponent Starboy, another fighter from Liverpool, looking to make it 2-0 here at this evening's RWS. Joe Ryan, actually the current WMO world champion. We saw him fight against Emerson Bento in a war at RWS. Unfortunately, the judges didn't see it in his favour. However, a massive opportunity for him right here tonight in our co-main event. Welcome back, Joe Ryan. All right, they can see the tail of the tape for this one. Our co main event of the evening in the red corner. We have Reza Venom Muay Thai. Very famous Venom Muay Thai. They've had a lot of success in the sport of Muay Thai. He is 23 years of age and stands at 180 centimeters. He weighed him yesterday on the money, 160 pounds, and has a reach of 180 centimeters. He was born in Karash in Iran and has a professional record of 62 victories, 23 losses and one draw. He's a former WPMF world champion, a three-time IFMA world championship gold medalist as the amateur ranks of Muay Thai. And of course, he's fought nine times here at RWS. 
and at the moment it stands at five losses with four victories. Last time out, he defeated Nyanesh Ayman from Spain, and previous to that, he defeated Brad Stanton, also from England. There you can see the Panigale Ducati V4S. The winner of the finals, all five of them, there will be a MVP declared, and that bike, worth 1.329 million baht, will be given to the MVP. And there you can see, oh, on the side of the screen, you can see Joe Ryan from England, just 19 years of age, stands at 185 centimeters, so five centimeters taller than Reza. He weighed in yesterday at 159.3 pounds and has a reach of 184 centimeters, so four centimeters longer reach than Reza. He is from Liverpool in England. He has a professional record of 73 victories with just 10 losses and one draw. Two-time WBC Muay Thai European Champion and an ISKA Muay Thai World Champion and a WMO World Muay Thai Organization World Champion. Big things expected. Has to be said from both these fighters, of course, Razor was in the 154-pound tournament. Unfortunately, he had to Leave the tournament due to the fact that he couldn't make weight, but here at RWS, we love giving middleweights a chance. It's the home of the middleweights. And so he has this huge opportunity now, but standing in front of him is a huge human being in the form of Joe Ryan. One of these fighters will move on and fight for the Rad Damnern Stadium title. It's a number one contender match. And there you can see Joe's father, Carl, Removing the monk on. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third man card of RWS Rashid Abner Bow Series. This is Muay Thai. This is Rashid Abner. This bout is brought to you by Leo Soda, Chemical Fertilizer, World War Kantai, and all new Mitsubishi Triton. And introducing a referee on stage, Mr. Parini Han Tanabun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting our direct hunter, 23 years of age. He stands with an ant and is in missile and winning with an ant 60 pounds. He holds a record of 62 wins, 23 losses, and one draw. He is three times IFMA World Championship gold medalist and former WPMF World Champion representing Iran. Let's hear it for Reza Wiener Morta. And his opponent fighting about the blue corner, 19 years of age. His turns when it had 85 centimeters tall and went in when it had 59.3 pounds. He will record of 73 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He is the BMO World Champion and ISKA World Champion and two times the BBC Muay Thai European Champion. Fighting our Liverpool, England. Let's hear it for Joe Ryan. Sit so oh, I'm looking forward to this one. I love the way that RWS is progressing and making a clear pathway for future champions to be crowned. Good left kick to the body here by Joe Ryan and Stein. Viciously pushing back Razor. Means business here. Left high kick there from the Englishman. Looking for that uppercut, that elbow. Oh, and I like what Joe Ryan is doing, as expected. We've seen oh. earlier, Joe Ryan will be aggressive. Reza though, oh, ho, ho, walking Reza into is, an elbow. Yeah, he's very experienced though, Reza. He's been in there with some of the best fighters in the world at 154 and 160 pounds. 
And again, he's looking for that left hook to the body. And he's caught Joe Ryan, what, three or four times with it? Yeah, and this is oh. why Joe Ryan has to outwork Reza. He's got to be aggressive. He's got to force Reza to stay out of out of his comfort zone and push him to fight. Good left and a right there from Reza. Ooh. Right low kick there from Joe Ryan. Good combination from Reza. And Reza is here for a fight as well. Remember in his last fight against Everton Bento, he performed well with Joe Ryan, but he also got caught with a lot of elbows. He's got to protect himself a little bit more. Kept it elbow there. You can see again how composed Reza is right now. He is. He's got to be careful. Yeah, Pose and two. Oh, and again with that left hook to the body. And here comes Razor now. Oh, good knee there. Oh. Oh, right. There's both fighters looking for elbow strikes. Good left kick there from Razor. And Razor somehow waking up and pushing forward, not fighting on the back foot anymore. Yeah, In a clinch. Beautiful body shot. That one, a straight one. Again by Razor. This fight. Yeah. Going back Ooh. and forth after an explosive start by Joe Ryan. Very. Oh, no! oh and the elbow! What a round. Then Reza targeting the body of the taller fighters. Good strategy to employ. Oh, good combination by Joe. Right kick, right hand. Reza just wiping his face, potentially a cut has opened up. Ooh. Again, digging that left hook and a left knee to the body. Joe Ryan throws the right knee back. What a start. For this fight, oh. giving this opening round. Yeah, and Reza doing exactly oh, what he's doing. Oh, and he's caught, he's hurt. Right, yeah, you can see that Reza was acting like it didn't bother him, but it did. Yeah. Right, kick to the body there by Joe Ryan. Reza smiling with a take down there by Joe Ryan. Wow. Reza getting to his feet very slowly. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And perhaps he was hurt from that head kick. Reza. Deep to the face there, good low kick. Oh, oh good right hand from Reza. What a round. And this is why. Oh, oh the elbow. Right Sorry, was it an elbow? Yeah, it was an elbow. And now Joe Ryan, double right kick. Reza slowing down somehow. Oh, oh. good elbow, but good body strikes there. What a round. Wow. Great round of body wow. action. Wow. There's a billionaire struck there from Joe Ryan <laughs> as he went back to the corner. What a round from both fighters. Incredible action here at RWS, and that is why it's worth making the middleweights the whole of bringing them here to RWS. Let's have a look at the action. Oh, oh, oh. Round of the night so far. Joe Ryan pretty much set the tone for this fight straight away. Oh, oh, oh. Toast to the eyes. Yeah, dangerous front kick and look at this elbow, oh. perfectly timed. Could this be raised that's tough? Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges go red line, blue turn. Of course, all right, here we go. Round number two. Big round here for both these fighters. Razor needs to win it. Joel Ryan, if he wins it, he'll be oh, so close to getting that title shot. Right kick to the body there from Razor. Joel Ryan taken. slick, drops him down. Oh, the one to Razor. The body there from Joel. Oh, look at how big he looks in the clinch. Reza, you've said it, he's got the experience, he's got the power. Oh, good right hand there. Oh, oh. Joe, good team once again to the face. How many times has Reza eight those toes of Joe Ryan in this fight so far? Push kick there. Oh, Reza coming in with those one-two combinations. Joe covering up. Oh, and the elbow. body shot there from Reza. He's coming alive now in this second round. Joe's got to be careful. Good knees there from Reza within the clinch. Oh, this is good here, good positioning by Joe. Delivering good knees to the body. Of course, he's been clinching with City Chai. And other good fighters that sit Song Pied on, including Nyan Eshu, who's Ooh. trained there as well with Reza defeated. And right now he is outworking oh. Reza. 
Reza looking for the heavy punches, heavy shots. Oh, good knee. And of course, Tonanchai as well, who will be fighting in the final in two weeks' time. Oh! Can stable of fighters. Are... Is it something all good hands here from Reza? A smile on the face of Joe, who would get a text to take Reza down, but unsuccessfully that time, Reza doesn't want to go back to the canvas. You can see that. The fight is not over just yet. Oh, and Reza again walks into an elbow. Oh. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Ryan is only 19 years of age. Good strength show there. Yeah, absolutely. Reza looking to his corner for some advice. Oh, oh that's jumping jump knee. By Joe Ryan. Is that all right? from Joe Ryan as well. Reza slows down. He is. Oh, He's looking exhausted. So he is looking absolutely exhausted right now. You can see his mouth open, deep breaths there by Reza. And you can see that Joe Ryan has got oh, the killer the instinct. Down. He's looking for the kill right now with one minute left on the clock. What a round from Joe Ryan. The future of the division, that's for sure. But don't call it a fight just yet. Reza still in the game, not giving up just yet. He's got the power, he but does he have Definitely. the energy to throw it? The right hand toward. Oh! oh a wicked body shot. That's his pathway to victory, in my opinion. Keep going after that body. That fatigued and tired body of Razor. Oh, Look at the elbows. Elbow. Oh, another elbow. Joe Ryan smelling blood in the water right now. How much more can Razor take with about 15 or 10 seconds left on the clock and the hand kick missing by a little bit. Razor desperately trying to push forward. Good elbow again there from Joe Ryan. And he walks into Reza. Every time he attempts to pull that oh. body shot, he walks into an elbow. Not an approval for himself. Joe oh, Ryan, oh, oh. Reza, head down. He's looking absolutely exhausted as he goes back to the corner. At the end of that second round, a great round, it has to be said, for Joe Ryan. Yeah, he's going to have to take deep for the That's third exactly round. Why. The middleweights are getting a big opportunity here on RWS. Let's have a look at the second round. Beautiful knees to the body there. Pinpoint accuracy by Joe Ryan. Obviously, that sparring and clinching with Tanan Chai and City Chai and Lionesh is helping him along the way. Oh, and beautiful right hand. We've said, said it. it. He it's has the power in his hands, for sure. That jumping flying knee. Spectacular oh, by Joe oh, Ryan. Oh, I oh. think that sapped out a lot of energy of Razor. Stay with us for round three. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges start with nine blue ten. What an odd whole score. All three judges start with 18 blue 20. Joe Ryan back to his feet already. Razor's taking his time, but you never know with Razor. Like you said, he does have that power punch. And he's going to have to go after Joe Ryan now, which is dangerous in itself. Good hook there from Joe. Oh. There, go back to the body. Oh. Back to the body there for Razor. He's getting that left hook once again. He's got a lot of them in that fight. He's been successful with them. Nice low kick there from Joe. Razor kind of uh, looking like he's given up already. Not pushing forward. But we've thought to ourselves, oh, Joe's going to sit on the back foot. Mm. He's going to defend his position. But oh. sometimes the best way to defend is attack, and that's what Joe is doing right now. Yeah, absolutely. Don't change something that is working. Oh. And the front yeah. into the face. Razor didn't like that one bit as Joe now moves in for the kill. Wow. How is he still standing up? Good elbow there from Joe. Fainted the knee. Left up there from Reza, but I don't think they have the popping look like they did earlier on in this fight. Good elbow though from Reza. That was a warning shot there for, to Joe. And again, he's only gone here. Yeah, and I have to say... Smart, very smart. It has to be tough on Joe Ryan's head right now because it doesn't matter how much he's hitting Reza, he's just not going down. Left elbow there. And again, back to the body. Sends it up, uppercut there, elbow, sorry, by both Razor and by Joe. Nice right high kick there. Razor eats it again, he eats it deep, and he goes back to the body once again as Joe Ryan hangs on. All he has to do is hang on now for these last 90 seconds. And he will get his hand raised. Razor so tired right 
And this is going to be tough for Reza's future as well because he said it 154. He didn't have great, great performance. And tonight was definitely a tough night for him. Perhaps for the first time we're seeing Joe Ryan just slowing down a little bit. Because, I mean, there was openings there against Reza, but he didn't take them. Reza is looking up at the clock. You'll see that there's just one minute left. Oh, oh good oh, body oh. shot there. And again, the referee taking a look at it actually for the first wow. time. Wow. Wow, he knew that punch was coming. Oh, oh good elbow oh. there from Joe Ryan. Reza props to him. He is one. So How good. is he still standing? He strike there by Reza to the body. Joe Ryan just blocking and defending his position. Again, good team to the body of the fatigue fighter, Reza. Now, there's nothing left now. Yeah, Reza completely outclassed today. What a performance from Joe Ryan. Of course, 20 seconds left on the clock. But does Reza have what it takes to do the impossible? Of course, he won the WMO World title with a head kick knockout against Swedish fighter Magnus Anderson. Oh, good jumping knee there by Reza. Oh, good solid deep once again in the clinch. Oh. And there you have it. It's the end of oh, oh, the fight. Oh. We will go to the judges' scorecards, but we know due to open scoring that Joe Ryan is about to be called the number one contender to the Rajkamnan Stadium crowd. Yeah, and look We've at never Razor. ever had an English stadium champion here in Thailand. He's one step closer to making history. Let's have a look at the highlights from the fight. Oh, oh. that jumping knee was out of another planet. And that teeth as well. And then those right kicks unanswered by Reza. Oh, nasty push kick to the face. What a performance by the teenager from Liverpool. I'm sure everyone watching back in England is going to be so happy and so proud of what they've witnessed right now by their boy, the WMO world champion, Joe Ryan. And I'm sure he's going to be watching on to see what happens in the next fight, our main knee event. Oh. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored is about 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Blast! Almost a flawless performance from Joe Ryan, only 19 years old and now becoming the number one contender for the Rajadamnan world title, Aaron. Yeah, an incredible performance at just 19 years of age to cope with the pressure of, of course, losing in his first appearance here at RWS, but then coming back and performing like that against a very good fighter in Reza. Very, very impressive. Yeah, of course. And now the main event of the evening. And I cannot wait for this one, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Emerson Bento, we saw him make his debut here at RWS, defeating Joe Ryan in a very close fight, it has to be said, taking on another of Buakao's stable in Beckham. Unfortunately, yesterday, Beckham missed weight by 0.8 of pounds. So if he does win tonight, that stadium title will still be vacant. However, if Bento wins, he will be the champion and he will make history as the first Brazilian Rajdamnern stadium champion. Yeah, absolutely. So for Beckham, it's about protecting that title, not to go out of Thailand. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Thailand. Beckham, big win champion, Ban Cha Mek. And he's open from Brazil, please welcome Bento Revolution Pocket. Fight for pride, defend the title, 
keep it here at home in Thailand. He will be giving everything for keeping the Ratchet and Men Stadium title here in Thailand. This is Beckham, big win champion, Van Chame. And here comes his opponent, the very tall, the very powerful Emerson Bento. Made his debut here in emphatic fashion, defeating Joe Ryan last time out. And that enabled him to get this title shot. He's actually fought a lot of times in the higher weight category, super middleweight, 168 pounds, but He's found a home here at RWS at 160 pounds. And for him, it's about to make history. Or is it? Well, let's find out. All right, now you can see the tail of the tape for your vacant Rajnamun Stadium title fight. In the red corner, we have Beckham, big win champion Ban Cha Mek, representing both Thailand and Japan. He is 26 years of age, stands at 178 centimeters. He weighed in yesterday, unfortunately, at 160.8 pounds. He did not make weight. He has a reach of 173 centimeters, and he was born in Buriram in Thailand. He has a professional record of 56 victories, with 18 losses and two draws. A former Super Champ Champion, a former WBC Muay Thai International Champion and a Southeast Asian Games Silver Medalist in Kickboxing. And his opponent in the blue corner, Emerson Bento. Emerson is from Brazil and he's 31 years of age. He stands at a whopping 191 centimeters, so 13 centimeters taller than Beckham. He weighed in under the limit at 159.7 pounds and his reach is 20 centimeters more though than Beckham at 193 centimeters. He was actually born in Porto Alegre in Brazil and has a professional record of 41 fights with 36 victories. One of those victories was here at RWS last time out with five losses. Former Lumpini Stadium title contender actually fought for the Lumpini Stadium title earlier this year. So there can't be many fighters throughout history who competed in the same calendar year for both the Lumpini belt and the Rajadam Nurn belt. Notorious Stadium champion. As we can see there, Beckham. Yes, he was named after the footballer. But that's not his real name. Each fighter in Thailand is actually given a fighting nickname. I'm guessing whoever named him Love Football. Obviously, fighting out of. There's, like, there's a lot of Brazilian fans here supporting Emerson Bento, looking to make history. They can say they were there when the first Brazilian Rajadam Nur Stadium champion was crowned. But looking for you watching around the world on the zone, you can potentially say, say the same thing if, of course, Beckham loses and Emerson Bento wins because, like I said, because in this weight, Beckham can no longer win the title. It will remain vacant if he gets his hand raised here tonight. If he wins, I can only assume it will be him versus Joe Ryan next up. Whoever wins this fight will have to defend it or compete for it if it's Beckham against the 19-year-old star boy from Liverpool, England, Joe Ryan. As we can see, Beckham going through the motions here. So sad that he was unable to make the weight. Of course, we've had a lot of controversy. Wait, wait, making haven't we? Over the last couple of days here in the sport of Muay Thai. Oh, just 0.8 of a pound. Coming 
from Hua Kao's gym. That's where he trains in the north of Thailand in Chiang Mai. Of course, we saw Buadin Banchamek earlier, earlier here tonight in our first fight in the main card. And we all also get to see former WBC female Muay Thai world champion Kang Kong Fa compete in our last bout. So three fighters from the Banchamek gym competing here tonight on RWS. Banchamek, sorry, Beckham going through his white through routine very beautifully indeed as well. All right, here we go. The vacant Rajdamnun middleweight title on the line. The first time that it was won was in 1953. So what's that? 70 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, don't put me on the spot there. <laughs> no, there you can see Tim Fisher, the owner of Revolution Phuket. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The main event of the evening. This world is the Vulcan Wretched of the Middleweight title match. Fighting in the rules of five rounds, Muay Thai. This is Muay Thai. This is Rashid Amdan. This bout is brought to you by Emroy Hasif. And introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Satra Suhasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red color. 26 years of age, he stands with an and 78 in pistol and weighted with an and 16.8 pounds. He for a record of 56 wins, 18 losses and 2 draw. He is Sea game silver medalist in kickboxing and former WBC Muay Thai champion and former Super Champ champion representing Thailand and Japan. Let's hear it for Beckham! Big win, champion, Bon Chabe! And his opponent fighting on the blue corner, 31 years of age. He starts when it and 91 centimeters tall and weighted when it had 59.7 pounds. He already got up 36 wins at five losses. He is Potorio Stadium Champion and Attack Fight Champion and Lumini Stadium Title Contender representing Brazil! Let's hear it for Bento Revolution Fulcan! Okay. Emerson Bento about to make history, or is that title going to stay vacant? Well, we're about to find out. Thailand versus Brazil. Rajdamnun middleweight stadium title on the line. Yeah, let's not forget this is a five round bout, as this is a championship bout. That's right. So you can expect the first round to be a little bit slow, especially from the Thai side. But again, Open scoring here in RWS, so each and every round is going to be important. I mean, I have to point it out that the height differential. Yeah. <laughs> the height of is losing there with that right high kick. It's so significant. It could play a big part in this fight. Yeah, absolutely. And believe it or not, Beckham is a big, big favorite by the Thai critics. So we'll have to see how this one is going to go. I do believe Bento coming here with bad intentions. See both fires moving slowly ooh, ooh, ooh. around. Working their way up, of course. Oh, Beto! Oh, flying in there with an attempted elbow. But wide of the mark, but a warning shot there for Beckham. Beckham, a little bit of a bad story he witnessed. His older brother dying in front of him, drowning in the water. He's been through a lot in his life with ups and downs in his career as well. So tonight is a massive opportunity for him. More tips to the body there by, by Bento. 
Oh, oh. snapping right hand oh. there, knocking the head back of Beckham. Oh, and the right kick. That kick. kicks. Of course, you're going to use those kicks as well. And Beckham not looking very confident tonight. It's not, no, inside kick there. Have to say that. Perhaps he's a little bit embarrassed the fact that he didn't make weight for a Rajananda Stadium title. I'm sure he's, he must be disappointed with himself. Yeah, he absolutely. Didn't make the weight. But he's got to let it go now. Focus on the fight. Oh. oh, and I have to say, from personal experience, fighting a fighter that is this tall is not easy to fight at all. A kick to the body there, attempted by Beckham. Oh, oh okay. oh, oh. right kick there oh, by oh. Bento. Yeah, he's not just tall, he's got the power as well. Oh, and those elbows are flying. Really are. You see what he's trying to do? He's trying to force that knee onto the head. Good body strike. Bento looking good so far in this opening round. Beckham has to fight off the back foot. Bento. Focus. Not, yeah, even so low kicks in Muay Thai, if they do it the groin are not actually illegal. Yeah, that's a very good point. Oh, good right hand there from Beckham. Look, Bacon fighting much slower than a lot of people would expect it. Oh, good right high kick to end the round by Bento. Yeah, Bento might have steal the round slowly but truly. Beckham reported that because of the rain and the weather in the past week, this is why he had trouble making weight. Yeah, let's have a look at the replay. The right hand there from Beto and those oh, oh, elbows oh. within the clinch. That was a good right hand from Beckham. There you can see a right kick in slow motion. Oh, oh, oh. Beckham trying to block it, but it just flicked the, the top of the head of the tie. Good right hook. Stay with us, round two coming up next. I would not be impartial about watching that fight again if I'm being honest. All right, here we go, round number two. There we go. One round up. Good left kick to the body there by the Brazilian. Still pushing forward. Beckham waiting for an opportunity. Oh, and the right kick. Woohoo! Something fancy from the Brazilian fighter. I think he's just trying to get his leg free. Oh, both fighters look at the left kicks to the body that time. Beto pushing back. Beckham. The attack and connecting with that right kick. Beckham performing very, very well. Sorry, Bento performing very, very well Ooh. so far in this fight. As Beckham moves in with an elbow. Oh, the left kick. Good low kick there by Bento. Ooh. Might have just walked into an elbow. Again, good knee there from Bento. Oh. Knees and elbows coming in by the Brazilian. Oh, and Beckham won, wants none of this Absolutely. clinch work. And Bento, to be honest, is fighting at the perfect pace. He's not overexposing himself. Still in shots here and there. These knees are very good by Bento when they do get into the clinch. There's Beckham now, looking to explode. Looking to be more aggressive. The crowd is quiet, waiting for oh. something big to happen. Yeah, good low kick there by Bento. Oh. And again, oh. solid kick to the body, again by the Brazilian. Much more. And Beckham take oh, and, and again. And the same side over and over. Inside kick. And the pace is turning around. This this used to be something that we would see from Thai fighters kicking over and over on foreigners, but now look at this. Beckham looking for that elbow strike. Oh, oh. and again. Oh. Moving out of the way and then delivering a power strike. Wow. Right at the mark from Beckham. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Yeah, doing something desperate there. Some clips. We've seen this before, and it's always been good. Oh, good. Well defended there by Beckham, not letting Bento attack his midsection. Beckham looking up at the clock, also looking up at Bento. Oh, and the 
the right kick. Back yeah. with some urgency, moving forward. Yeah, but we know he does have the power in those hands. He has to try harder. He has to look for the target. And uh, Bento not letting him do the takedown. Good low kick there by Beckham. Off bottoms from Bento. He's much breath. better there from Beckham. Good breath from Beckham on that shot, though. Now pushing forward. Coming a little bit better than he was in the beginning of the round. Yeah, this is a good end of the round here from Beckham. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, good oh, a much round by Beckham, giving the Juju something to think about in that second round. Yeah, absolutely. The beginning of the round was 100% Bento, but towards the end, Beckham coming back very strong. So this is going to be... It's on the look at the highlights in that second round. That's where Bento was trying to get his leg free, and he ate a body shot. Yeah, Beckham off balancing. Bento, both fighters look for that left kick to the body. And the elbow. Oh, oh, right into ho, the ho. eye. Oh, and the right Beckham kick. Reaching. Oh, ho, ho. And he ate a lot of right kicks to the body. Stay with us for round three. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score red nine, blue ten. And what a total score, all three judges score red 18, blue 20. It's very, very close now here at Rad Lambert on RWS. All right, here we go, round number three. There we go. Bento pushing forward as expected. Beckham in the ropes. What can he do to stop this man? Oh, the elbow. And I think Beckham, he needs to go to war. He cannot fight a clean fight anymore. He needs to make it dirty. He needs to force Bento to go with those exchanges and perhaps force him to do a mistake. The problem with that is every time you move forward, Especially Beto just grabs a hold of him and throws good knees and elbows within the clinch. Oh, again, looking for that elbow, missing good left shot to the body, and again there from Beckham. Twice he caught Bento. <laughs> body shots, but here in this clinch, you see the way that Beckham was able to move away and avoid that clinch. We've currently got four. Uh, Rajnabur foreign champions at the moment. We've got Petnum from France. We've got Nadaka from Japan, Sajad, of course, from Iran, and Daniel Rodriguez from Switzerland, so the Dominican Republic. Beckham looking to make it five non Thai stadium champions here at Rajad Amun. Very close, but Beckham is performing very well in this third round. Just uh, pushing forward. Again, the fight is not over yet. This is only halfway oh, through, only right the third kick. round. More of those kicks to the body. <laughs> oh, we should try trying to find a solution still. Oh, good left knee there by Bento. Really is very, very good. Fluid within that clinch. Very dangerous. Nice low kick there from Bento. Don't ride Beckham off just yet. Again, we're waiting for something big, and we know Beckham possesses the power. But can he find the target? Maybe a mistake from Bento is what he needs right now. Yeah, Beckham making Bento miss with a few of those kicks and elbows. And a better round from Bento right now. Walks into an elbow strike. Bit of close round here. Yeah, difficult round to judge. Bento looking up at the clock and looking for that right hand wide of the mark. Mm -hmm. Again, Bento finishing strong. Oh! oh! Beautiful right elbow there by Bento. Beckham took that very well. That was the shot of the round. Five seconds left on the clock. Might. It might have won it him. Oh. Now we're about to find out. Beckham.
Beckham starting to fight a big ground within this fight, within that third round, but all of a sudden, right at the end, that beautifully timed, powerful elbow from Bento. Honestly, it might have swayed it in his favor. Let's have a look at the highlights. Within that clinch, Bento so good with both his light, left and right knee, even though Becker was doing everything to try and block it. And there was that elbow strike. The right high kick there from Beckham, sneaking it through the guard of Bento. Good elbow. Really did go back and forth, staying with us. Round four coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, all three judges score red line blue 10. And what a total score. All three judges score red 27, blue 30. So close now to having that majestic stadium title steeped in history wrapped around his waist. Here we go. What they call championship round, round number four. Beckham on the back foot, surprises me. Take there from Beckham. Bento will be happy with this. Yeah, he's digging in some left knees and a right for good measure. And again with that right knee. Beckham needs something. Bento walking forward like a tank, and he is so tall, and so big which makes it even more difficult for Beckham. He yeah, needs to be careful there. Oh, good right hand, Benson's got to be careful. Good knees again. Oh. No! Benson walking into right hands. <sighs> got to be careful. That was a little bit careless there from Bento. Yeah, but we do know he's got a chin as well. And this true. is probably why he's confident that he can take the power of Beckham, especially fighting on the back foot like this, which makes it even more difficult for Beckham oh, to good. use his power. Yeah, good left hand there once again by Beckham. Good right knee though from Bento, and oh. again. Oh. Yeah, that's his pathway to victory. Yeah, he's working so well right now. Oh. Unanswered knees to the body of Beckham by Bento. Beckham kind of keeping up now, out of solution. And Bento just non stop pushing forward and doing the exact thing he should be doing. Keep it close. Stay Some active. Solid knees once again here by Bento. Doing the smart thing, grabbing the hold of Beckham, running down the clock and scoring with knees. Yeah. Oh, 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 just snuck through the guard. Yeah, he looks like he's. You see he the markings. Oh, oh. the rebel attempted there from Bento as he rushed in. Almost with reckless intent. Oh, and again with that right elbow. Oh, good left kick to the body, and I think that hurt Bento. For the first time in the fight, I think we saw Be uh, Bento hurt. Beckham still pushing forward. The push kick there from Bento. Beckham looking like he's completely out of solutions now. Both fighters missing. are looking fatigued, I'm sure. Ben oh! oh! Right hand kick! Knocking Beckham's head right back! Wow. To move in for the kill. How is he still standing? Right kick to the body there. Wow. Bento. Probably just stole the round. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. What a kick. Woo. Beautiful high kick. Stunningly executed there by Bento. For the first time, using those leg kicks to go up high and finding the head of Beckham. Let's have a look at the highlights from that round. Bento was moving in. Beautiful elbow there by the Brazilian. There! That right high kick knocking the head back. Jumping elbow attempt coming in here from Bento, finding the mark. 
Good solid round again from Bento. It looks like he's cruising to victory here at Rajad Amur Stadium. Wow! What a shot that is! How did Beckham stay on his feet? The conclusion is up next. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth bout, all three judges score red nine, blue ten. And for the total score, all three judges score red 36, blue 40. I believe only Yusef Kuganem and Shinya Ashiki from Japan are the only middleweight non thai champions. <laughs> our middleweight champions here at Rajdam Nern, Emerson. So close now to making history. Fifth and final round, all he has to do is not get knocked out. Yeah, Beckham needs to do the impossible right now. Nothing to lose, everything to win. Low kick there by Bento. Good and jabs coming in here from Beckham. Not sure where they were oh. from this fight. There's that left, sorry, right jab again from Beckham. Kicks to the body by Bento. Oh, he's given oh, up now. Oh, he's already gave up. Huh. Beckham, giving a sign of hands, telling Bento, don't kick me anymore. I'm if, giving up. You know what? If that's the case, the referee should just step in. Yeah, and absolutely. Call it a TKO. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, kick again to the body by Bento. Beckham kind of telling Bento, this is the, it, this I is the referee done. should take a big look into the eyes of Beckham right now. We can see that he doesn't want to continue. Yeah, and I just think, call it. I think something needs to be done in cases like this. And I believe the RWS is going to step in and change these old ways. Because we are live worldwide and we do want to see absolutely, action. Absolutely, Antoine. Well, Bento's not stopping though, saying that. Still bring the fire, trying to knock out Beckham. There's still 100,000 bar knockout bonus left yeah, off Absolutely. Again. And like we said, Joe Ryan, the number one contender, which means that most likely Bento will win the fight and they will have to face each other again. The rematch Amazing. for the title. Amazing. Oh. I think a lot of people, including a lot of Joe Ryan fans especially, want that rematch. Yeah, absolutely. This time, not only will, be, will, will it be pride on the line, but it looks like the Rajagamur Stadium title will also be up for grabs as well. Yeah, I think the referee should step in and perhaps just stop the fight. If oh, oh! Right, high kick there. Second in the fight here. Oh, come on. If one does not want to fight, then he just should, he should not be fighting anymore. Well, it's been a difficult two days, hasn't it, for Beckham? First, he misses weight at one of the biggest opportunities of his career. And now he's been outworked and outstruck by his opponent. Yeah, he's and been by, bullied tonight. Yeah, by what will be the first ever Brazilian Muay Thai Rajdam Nern champion in Emerson Bento. Oh! Five seconds left of the clock. And history will be made here at RWS. There it is. A new Rajdamnern Stadium champion will be crowned here tonight. Emerson Bento, Revolution Phuket, is about hey. to be put into the record books. I believe the third non-Thai middleweight champion or Rajadam Nerd, middleweight champion, RWS, the new home of the middleweights. <laughs> yes. The belt the is belt. going to Brazil. Yeah, he knows it's coming. Let's have a look at the replay on what happened during the whole fight. Oh, that head kick was... He won every oh. single round. Beckham fighting off the back foot. Oh. Bento, just too strong, just too good. Yeah, absolutely. And I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed with the performance of Beckham. I think a lot of people expected him to 
perform a little bit better than this. But again, when you have to face somebody like Vanto and you're not at 100%, it's going to be a long oh, night. Look at that right high kick. What a shot that was. All right, let's get confirmation of the result. Let's crown the new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, right here inside the ring with us, Mr. Promet Chaksuran, member of Russian Man Ranking Committee, and Mr. Soran, letter one, Chief Marketing Officer of RWS. Ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this board. 50 to 45. We have a winner by way of Unanimous Decision and new Russian Man Middleweight Champion. Some noise for the new Russian Adan middleweight champion, Mentor Revolution Bukhan! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next Russian Adan middleweight title fight, Mentor Revolution Bukhan will face the number one contender. From England, Joe Ryan sits on Pino! Here he is, Joe Ryan, for the rematch. And Bento saying, come get it. You want the belt, come get it. I think Joe Ryan is happy to oblige, but yeah. What a fight. I love oh, the way oh, that RWS oh. are doing this. Building up the sport. The champion and the contender. But the night belongs to Emerson Bento. Congratulations to him and his team at Revolution Group Net. And you, Ratchet and Learn champion. What a performance from Bento. A flawless performance tonight. Yeah, he made that look very easy against a very tough opponent, of course. And of course, the protege of Boakau five rounds and he won every single round to become the new champion. The first ever champion was a man by the name of Sakchai Nakpayak in 1953 and RWS is continuing the legacy of the Rajnamun middleweight champion and what a thing of beauty to then bring out Joe Ryan. We don't know when that will happen but we do know it will happen here at RWS. Yeah, and that's going to be very exciting. Of course, we do have two more fights, but first off, I want to talk about next week because coming up next week, like I said, there's going to be some amazing fights. That's right. In the super lightweight final, it will be Capitan taking on Nung Lang Lek. And then for the females in the bantamweight division, the final is Nao Prajan taking on last year's champion, Som Ratsami. And in the lightweights, it's Lamna Moonlek, last year's champion, taking on Samingdev. That's right. Join us next week for the first of two finals. Because on the Saturday, the 7th of October, it's final number two 
In the welterweights, it's Ritti Wadar taking on Hercules. In the super welterweight, Godfrey Char against Tanon Chai. And we have John Paranchai defending his stadium title against Adam Noy. And then, on the 14th of October, Prao Prao Pet Yindi will be taking on Dindu Atong defending his super flyweight Rajadam Nurn stadium title. And up we also have Rona Chai taking on Israeli Ruat Gordon. And then, on the 21st of October, it's the return of the... Swiss Superman Daniel Rodriguez defending his title against Son Cow. And on that bout, we also have the super welterweight action Shadow against Satan Fa. Yeah, this is going to be very, very exciting. A lot of great fights in these upcoming weeks. And I cannot wait for them to happen. All right, so we do have two more fights. We'll take a short break and be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have two extra fights. So please welcome our fighters from Thailand. Wittaya Yut Win Ubon. And his opponent from Greece, please welcome Angelos Yak Yai Muay Thai. Two more extra fights and the chance for these fighters to showcase their skills here in Ratchadamnan Stadium. This is Wittaya Yut Win Ubon. And his opponent from Greece, Angelos Yak Yai Muay Thai. He's been around the Muay Thai scene for a while now and he is known for having very, very powerful hands. Knockout power. Ready to make a statement here on his debut at RWS. Welcome to Angelos. Take your penultimate fight of the evening at this week's RWS. In the red corner, we have Witte Ayut. Win Ubon. He is 28 years of age. He stands at 175 centimeters. He weighed in yesterday at 129.9 pounds. There's a reach of 175 centimeters. He is from Ubon Ratchatani here in Thailand and has a professional record of 62 victories, 15 losses and 3 draws. He is on a 7 fight win streak. He fights on Sorsamai promotions. Of course he's experienced in those 5 round fights that me and Antoine were mentioning. He's actually making his debut here at RWS in the 3 round format. In the blue corner, we have Angelos Giacoumis from Greece, fighting out of Yakyai Muay Thai. He is 30 years of age, stands at 167 centimeters, so gives away eight centimeters in height. And he has a reach of 173 centimeters, giving away two centimeters. He was born in Athens in Greece. He has a professional record of 26 victories with five losses. A six-time Greek kickboxing champion. And he's actually fought against some very good fighters. Yamin fought against uh, Y2K, Yodkai Gel, and also Thai, Sojo, Piyuko Thai. Very experienced in three rounds, and he's also experienced in fighting in MMA-style gloves as well. Like I said, he packs a punch going to be an interesting one this because in terms of Moita experience yeah with a yut but in terms of free round format Moita you would have to say that Angelos actually does have more experience than his Thai counterpart Here we go. All right. 
Yeah. Round one. Here we go. Is there going to be a knockout? Very tough one for the fighter from Greece tonight. When they're fighting against somebody who's on a win streak like this, yeah. it's always difficult. Absolutely. Oh, oh ho, ho. beautiful low kick there by Vitaya Yud. So we're going to miss there by Angelos. See that Angelos. He's trying to move forward. Oh, oh good. Oh! Full fight is connected. Right kick to the midsection by Witaya Yurt and the right hand by Angelos. Yeah, don't call him off yet. Angelos might be new to the game of RWS, but he's not new to the sport. Exactly. To the midsection there by the tie. Low kick there by Angelos. Oh, he then walks into a right hand. Good left hand as well by Wite Ayut. Oh, good right body shot. These two are very fast. Lightning at 130 pounds. Good right low kick. There, swinging left up there from Angelos. Right hand from the tie. One, two coming in, but blocked. Good low kick by the tie. Yeah, Angelos looking to get those punches and low kicks going. Yeah, he is. Pushing forward, oh, being aggressive with the answer. power shots, yeah, coming from Wita Yayud right now. Oh, Ooh. ripping left body shot from Angelos. Wita Yayud saying, yeah, bring it. Don't know about that. Don't know how many more of them you can take without going down. Yeah, I like what's going on there. Tie fighter not backing down, ready to face the adversity of hands. Oof. You see Angelos looking for that left hook, just over the top, but wide of the mark that time. Decision missing there from Angelos. It seems like he's happy to fight off the back foot. Low kicks there from both fighters. Left kick to the midsection, but connected to the arms, but it still scores in Muay Thai. Should be noted. Ooh, and uh, I think it was a left hook that connected. Angelos kind of losing balance a little bit there. Not sure if it was from the punch or something else. Vitae, you're definitely the more accurate of the two. Angelos pushing forward still. Can't really find a target. Yeah, looking for that left hand. Vitae, you is good at defending his position. Oh, good right knee there. Good both fighters. <laughs> Fairly even round, not an easy one to yeah, judge. It is. Absolutely right. Oh, with a left kick there. Good inside kick. Oh, and a good oh. left hand from Witte Ayun. That might have won the round for him. He seems confident that he has. Angelus, more disappointed maybe with his performance. He's not gloating about winning the round. Of course, open scoring here at RWS. If you've been watching throughout tonight, you'll get to see the judges I've scored it in favor for. So as you saw, we've got a lot of action coming here on RWS. We've got the finals over the next two weeks. We've also got Rajanana Stadium title defenses as well. As you look at the action here from that opening round. Good low kick there from Witayayut. Overhand right, just glancing off the top of the head. Oh, nice stiff left jab there. Join us for round two. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges. Score red 10, blue 9. After this, we'll, it will be the turn of Don Kangpa. I don't know if you can hear that, if that's picking up on the microphones, but you can hear the Brazilian team are actually uh, celebrating in the back there with Emerson Bento, the new stadium champion at middleweight. Great history here tonight. Ooh, good low kick there. But good right hand from Witte Ayut. Angelos preferring to go low. Witte Ayut throwing arms and an elbow. Good knees to the thigh there from both fighters. Well, evenly matched up this one. Both very aggressive. Oh, yeah, good left hand. Oh, good right hook once again there from Angelos. Witte Ayut, very confident again. Of course, no knockdowns here tonight on RWS. Sorry, no knockouts here tonight mm. 
at RWS. Remember, there is no knockouts or a knockout that's deemed worthy of that 100,000 baht. It will be rolled over to next week. And of course, next week, it's the first of a two-part final week here at RWS, which could be very interesting. Remember, the winners, each winner of the tournament gets 3 million baht. And they could also add on an extra 200k as well if they wanted or decide to knock their opponent out. Mm. All right, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Who's going to get... It's that time again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's going to get the performance of the night? Well, it's In difficult opinion. to look past Emerson Bento simply because he's now a, a history maker and a Rajnam Nur Stadium title. But if you take each individual fight as its own, then I'm probably looking at Joe Ryan. Mm. The way that he was able to dismantle Razor, I thought was very impressive. Because, you know, Razor in that opening round, he was looking confident, but... Oh, and there's a... Oh, yeah, sorry to cut you off, but I think there's a cut on Angelo's forehead right now. Yeah, there is a small cut. Oh, swing and a miss there by Angelos. So yeah, let's not dismiss or discount the fact that there's a female bout up later. You never know what could happen in that fight. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially these two oh, fighters. Angelos again looking for those one-two combinations, but he just walks into an elbow. Blancanta, really good fighter, and Desi, we know yeah. she's going to push forward absolutely. non-stop. These two are world classes, world-class athletes, so, so she, this is going to be interesting. She was in the tournament last year, yeah, absolutely. 12 pound. The only two fighters she lost against were the two fighters that made it through to the final, mm. Saul Rapsomi and uh, Zara Gogan. So, yeah, she's a very talented fighter. But as is Don Kampar as well. This, this would be a great fight, actually. Looking forward to that. The last fight tonight here on RWS coming up next. Good low kick. Oh. We'll tell you. It was, it was even-ish, let's say, opening round, but I think in the second round, he's just he's extended his lead and he's starting to make it look a little bit easier now. Yeah, absolutely. As you can see, the blood flowing down the forehead of Angelos. Witty Ayut, now you understand why he's 7-0 and in his last seven fights. Yeah, and controlling. Very talented. Controlling the fight pretty much the whole time. Angelo not really able to find his target and to find a power shot. There, oh. those elbows every time, bouncing off the ropes and just ripping through the guard of Angelos. Both fighters though, throwing almost like a kickboxing style fight. Yeah, you're right. A lot of hands, a lot of low kicks, but it's the elbow, isn't it? Essence of Muay Thai right it's here. The one, oh, yeah. was it a clash of heads? Oh, ah. it might have been a clash of heads, yeah. Stay with us for the third round. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score rate 10, blue 9. For the total score, all three judges score rate 20, blue 18. Not out with Ayayut. Well, let's see if we can do it. Here we go, round number three. Now or never, as they say, for Angelos. Nice low kick. Oh, beautiful low kick in reply, though, from Witte Ayut. And that right hand through the guard of by Angelos. Oh, that low kick hurt him. It buckled his leg. Don't know how many more of they can take. As Angelos moves forward and looks for that left and right combination once again here in the final round. Swinging hands here from Angelos, but just not finding the mark or doing any real damage. And again, like you mentioned just now with a kickboxing style, I mean, a little bit difficult to adapt here for Angelos as we take oh. Ayut, his... Oh, good left hook there from Angelos. Yeah, absolutely, and perhaps this is what he's been looking for. He needs to go to war, he needs to bring the action to Witte Ayut, who's pretty comfortable at his range and pace. Good low kick there from Witte Ayut. Good movement, movement around the ring there by the TIE fighter. Low kick coming in by Angelos. Swinging a miss there. A one-two combination, it seems lovely. You can see that blood pouring down his face now. Mm. 
This is much better though by Angelos. See, so there's some swelling under the right eye of Witaya Yud. It's been urged on here by his corner is Angelos. Yeah, back to the centre of the ring again. He's looking for that left hook, that Ooh. left hand. As is with the Ayut, though. Last few seconds or minutes in the fight. Oh, right hand there from with Ayut. Angelos trying to rip a left body shot against the Thai fighter. Just cannot find one big clean strike, which he needs, of course as Witayut ties him up. I don't think we've seen Witayut do any kicks this fight. <laughs> he was mainly controlling the fight with punches and knees. Oh, swinging oh. right hand there from Witayut, finds the target. As the blood flow starts to increase. Oh, oh good low kick there from Witayut. Buckled the leg once again in this round. Right hand off the back foot there by Witeyut. The Thai fighter now in cruise control with 20 seconds left on the clock here of the penultimate bout at this week's RWS. The week that we saw history being made. Oh, beautiful right hand there from Witeyut to end the fight. A happy Witeyut. Great performance here on his RWS debut. Back in fourth war, but if we're being honest, I feel like that Witae got the better of the exchanges throughout the entire first, second, and third rounds. Angelos was trying his trying everything he oh. had in that third round to try and stop Witae Ayut, but to be honest, he walked into a, a lot of shots. He got caught with elbows there, punches as well. And there was a low kick, a couple of low kicks. It took Angelos off balance, like you see there, that hurt him. That was a good fight, that. Very enjoyable to watch. Don't forget, boys and girls, the final bout of this week's RWS is coming up next. But right now, we are going to get the official decision of this matchup with our MC, Mr. Veer. Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges' scored is about 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Red Corner! Right. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, for the last bout of the evening, please welcome our fighters from Thailand, Dang Kong Fa, Kiet Pet Noi Jim, Ban Cha Me, and her opponent from Spain, please welcome Daisy Seven Muay Thai. And here she is once again, Dang Kong Fa back here with a smile at Ratchanan Stadium. Always a pleasure to have her perform here. Tonight she will be in front of a tough challenge. This is Dang Kong Fa Get Pet Noi Jim Bun Cha Me. And here comes her opponent from Spain. Looking to make a statement here tonight at RWS. Daisy riding out of seven Muay Thai. She knows all about RWS. And she's looking to get back into the winning column right here, right now.
And here you can see the tail of the tape for your final matchup on tonight's RWS. In the red corner, we have Dan Kong Fa, Pet, Kia Pet Noi Ban Cha Mek. She is 21 years of age and stands at 156 centimeters. She weighed in yesterday at 113 pounds and has a reach of 160 centimeters. She was born in Nakhon Ratchasima in Thailand and has a professional record of 56 victories with 11 losses and two draws. She is the female Thailand super flyweight champion, the Southeast Asian Games kickboxing bronze medalist, and a former WBC Muay Thai super flyweight world champion. In the blue corner, we have Desiree Rovira, otherwise known as Daisy Seven Muay Thai, and there you can see upcoming here on RWS, Somebody will be crowned the MVP of the finals and win that beautiful Ducati bike. Daisy is from Cadiz in Spain and she is 36 years of age and she stands at 163 centimeters with a reach of 162 centimeters. She has a professional record of 30 fights, 20 victories, 9 losses and 1 draw. Former Spanish World Amateur Muay Thai Champion and of course was in last year's tournament. Started Muay Thai, like you can see there, at just 28 years of age, so she's only been in the game 8 years. Last year she competed, like I said, in the 112 pound tournament, which was won by Som Raksami. So Ratsumi defeated Zara Dogan in the final, and those two fighters were also in the group with Daisy. So it was very, very tough for her in that group. She actually won, though, in the group by knockout against the other participant, Mina, from Thailand. But she lost to Som Ratsumi, and she lost by knockout to Zara Dogan. She is looking to get back into the winning column right here tonight against a former WBC world champion. And of course, we've seen Dong Kang, uh, Dan Kong Fa here at RWS before. She put on a beautiful performance winning her debut fight. We've seen two fighters fight out of Ban Chumek. One victory and one loss. So, not just for herself, but also for Boakao that she wants to get this victory here tonight. Yeah, and a quick point, I want to say that on TV her, her hair is blue, but in real life it's actually purple. <laughs> There's a color change on TV, just wanted to point that out. So it might be our monitor. <laughs> yeah, it might be actually, you might be right. We'll have to check the phones. All right, there's Mateus. He actually broke his arm competing for the Lumpini Stadium title a few months ago, so it looks like he might have recovered actually. No longer in a cast, which is good to see. Yeah, hopefully, he'll be back. Maybe. Yeah, I've competed here at RWS many a time. Very, very good fighter from Italy. And his father owns seven Muay Thai gyms, so I'm sure that Mateus is like the head trainer right now. A good right kick there from Don Kampar, but easy. She's come out so aggressive in this fight. Yeah, absolutely, top level fighters here. We've said it before. Daisy was in the tournament. Low kicks here by Duncan Far. Oh, good hands as well there from a tie, acknowledged by Daisy. Oh, oh, very oh, fast. Oh, oh, oh. Daisy looking a lot bigger though than Duncan Far, as we said. But Duncan Far, you can see she's a lot quicker at the moment. And anyway, oh, good oh, right hand oh, once oh. again there. As expected, Daisy very aggressive. Oh, very and again with that fighting. right hand, right kick to the body there from Dan Kong Fa. Another right hand coming in, blocked that time by Daisy. Ooh. Left up there from Daisy. Oh, another oh. right hand there by the tie. And again, oh. snapping the head back. And she stumbles. Again. She did, Antoine. And if she says nothing, but she did stumble after that right hand. Dan Fa so quick with her hands. Yes, she is, and very accurate as well. And Desi, I'm not sure if 
He's actually 100% recovered. Yeah, then again! Oh, good left high kick though by Daisy. She needs to throw more of them. Pushing forward is Daisy, but she keeps walking into that right hand every single time. Tempted elbow there by Daisy. Good left kick to the body. 20 seconds left of what's been a thrilling opening round here. Oh, look at that by Daisy. Swing and a miss though. Yeah, looking for that right hand. Good right of her own though by Dan Kong Fai. Once again. Oh, the accuracy of Dan Kong Fai is insane tonight. So aggressive with Daisy, like a tank. Pushing forward. Wow, what oh. a round. Great round of action here. Your final wow. round of this week's RWS. Got to give it though to that girl right there, Dan Kong Fa, proving why she was a former world champion. Beautiful right hands coming in at will. Daisy just not able to handle them. Let's have a look oh, there. Oh, and the right How hand many there. rights? Knocking Perfect. her back that time, oh. and a third. Let's have a look at that in slow motion. Oh. What a round for Dan Kongfa. Oh, oh, snapping the head back of the Spanish fighter. Stay with us for round two. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all two judges. Star red 10, blue nine. It's a tough as well, the two minutes round, because if the game plan of Daisy is to actually push forward to get Dan Kongfa to Gas up, and this is going to be a tough one. Well, oh, oh, oh. Starting quicker than we wow. did in the first, believe it or not. Daisy pushing forward, looking for that right hand. She cannot find Dan Kongfar. Every time she throws it, Dan Kongfar moves her head out of the way. Great head movement. And then usually throws a right of her own as a counter strike. Daisy throwing like a machine gun. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Nice right kick to the body. Oh, oh. and the legs there from both fighters. Oh, and Dan Kong Fa with the combinations of her own. You have to say, the level of these athletes. Oh, oh. good elbow there by the tie. Here's again trying to back up. Dan Kong Fa is out of the fight off the back foot. Yeah, Dan Kong Fa controlling the fight. Mostly Daisy pushing forward. Good knee there by Daisy. What a fight. Absolutely. Incredible. Inside kick there. Don't come far again. Look at that right hand. Oh. This is better now by Daisy. Look at the knee strikes, but Don't come far. Doesn't want anything to do with that clinch. Oh, so one, active. Two, three, yeah. just don't stop. Yeah, absolutely. The fitness level of these yeah, fighters. Daisy. Oh, good right hand there from Danko Far. Oh, but Daisy looking a little bit wobbly here. Yeah, and she's taking so much damage and yet still standing, still pushing forward. Oh, good left high kick there by Daisy. What a scrap. Unbelievable. These girls give me everything they've got. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said before, a world class. Oh, good left high under. kick. And then it's actually working out pretty well with this kick. Dan Kong Fa, not as accurate as she was in round number one. And I feel like Daisy might be getting the better of her. Oh, oh just as I say oh, that, a beautiful right hand from oh, Dan Kong Fa. That might have changed the round. Oh, absolutely. Oh, what a shame. I thought that was going to go to a gentleman round, but after this punch, I don't know. I agree. Oh. I really feel like Daisy was fighting her way back into that second round. I might have even taken it, but with that right hand by Don Kong Fa, you just never know. It's going to be close. Let's have a look at the highlights from that action back second round. Both fighters machine gunning, as you put it, Antoine, with those hands. Throughout that round, I'm sorry. Oh, oh what a right hand that was. That will affect your equilibrium, no doubt about it. Oh, look at that. Dan Kong Fa, so accurate, yeah, as she well is. as fast. She is. Here it comes. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges. Star red 10, blue 9. 
And for the total score, all three judges. Score red 20, blue 18. Third and final round of the fight and of the evening here at this week's RWS. All right, here we go. As expected, the machine gun is still <laughs> on. Lazy pushing forward. She needs a knockdown to at least draw the fight. Yeah, she's looking for that left hand oh, to set something oh, oh, oh. up. But again, she walks into that right hand, that dangerous right hand of Dan Kong Pa. Oh, oh. Again, good one-two combination there from the tie. Well, as Daisy tries to get her into the corner and throw a right hand of her own. Oh. Just don't stop these girls. It's yeah, incredible. absolutely. And I have to say, Dan Kong Pa fighting so well under pressure. Again with that right hand, just through the guard. Snapping left hand of Daisy. Chasing shadows right now on her way back. She's trying to force Dan Confar back into the corner, but Dan Confar is happy to fight off the back foot. Mm. Oh, good right hand there from Daisy and a good left kick. Dan Confar just has to keep her concentration. Remember, she is two rounds up right now. Oh, Amethyst is coming in. Yeah, both fighters looking Daisy. great. Shoot. Still pushing Jeez, forward. Game. Oh, oh no. no! Bleeding heavily. I don't know if the referee's seen it or not, but if he did, I'm sure he'd want the doctor to take a look at it because it's pouring with blood. Yeah, it is. 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh. it's a deep cut there on that left eye. Like I said, I don't think. Oh, now he's going to take a look at it. No, he's not. He's looking at the wrong fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's looking at the clock. 20 seconds left on the yeah, on the clock. Make it. That is a lot oh, of blood. Oh, it is. That is a nasty cut there. 10 seconds left. It looks like we're going to go to the judges' scorecards. A lot of blood flowing down the purple head warrior. There you have it. An absolute war in your oh, final part this evening oh, here oh, in oh. Ah. WS, what a scrap to finish off tonight's fight. Oh, oh. my goodness, that cut yeah, yeah, I is don't know. nasty. I don't know how deep is the cut, but there's definitely a lot of blood coming out, so it might have touched a vein or something. Purple hair, but a red face. Yeah. And what's becoming a red body as well. A colorful oh, knife, no. for her, that's for that sure. That is a nasty cut. Yeah, it is. Always Let's have sad. a look at the highlights of the fight. Let's try and find out where that cut did actually occur. It was difficult to see. Yeah, so many exchanges. Yeah, so many exchanges. <laughs> difficult to pinpoint exactly where it happened. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, perhaps that was that elbow. Oh, maybe know. one of those elbows. Oh, oh, there you go. One of those elbows yeah, in that far corner. Elbow. That was those two shots, and she was definitely hurt by those punches. Snapping right now. Great performance though by Dan Kong Pa. Oh, slipping the jabs, oh. slipping the hands, moving mm. in with that right. Oh, there you go. Oh. oh. Yeah, that might have been the Beautiful one. Beautiful timing. Perfect execution. Oh, oh perhaps again. this one. Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored this vote 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. performance from Dan Kong Fa and an amazing night of Muay Thai. Of course, upcoming next week is a big, big, big event as we will get to know who will become our WS champion. So next week, don't miss out. So next week, 30th of September, Capitan taking on Nguyen Lan Lek in the Super Lightweight Final. Lam Nam Mulek versus Samingdet in the lightweight final. Sam Ratsami versus Nao Pajan in the female bantamweight. And then on the Saturday, September 
On the 7th of October, we have Yon Wichar versus Tananjai in the Super Welterweights, Ritiwada versus Hercules in the Welterweights, and the Rajnamnon lightweight title will be defended. John Paranchai, the champion, will be taking on Adam Noy. On Saturday, the 14th of October, we've got Ronachai taking on Ruat Gordon in the main event. Prow Prow Bet Yindi will be defending his title against Din Nuatong. And then on Saturday, 21st of October, we've got Shadow taking on Satanfar. In the main event, Daniel Rodriguez, the stadium champion, will be defending his title against Son Gao. All right, so make sure you tune in every Saturday night. It was a pleasure to be along you again, Aaron. <laughs> and it was a pleasure to have you guys here at Ratchet Men Stadium. So see you next week on Saturday night here in our WS Ratchet Men World Series. This is Muay Thai and this is Ratchet Men. <laughs>